Hey there, lovely soul, Infinity here, and welcome to what I'm going to call Rapid Fire Tarot and Oracle Reads for you. Uh, we're going to go through all the signs and get some quick messages for you. It is the um, it is Sunday the 16th of May, so we're in our second, getting into our second half of May. We just had the ending of our Stargate yesterday on the 15th, so congratulations for making it through the Stargate. I hope it was great for you. I hope you're able to maintain your vibration through the Stargate and uh, choose your highest possible timelines. And let's get going. We're starting with Aquarius. We're going to get some, going to get Archangel messages and Angels of Abundance and then um, some Tarot for just some, oop, there we go. Let's get one more, oop, <laughs> three more here for Aquarius. Okay, first one out is Jophiel with Outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So there is Outdoors. Courage with Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. There we go. And then Angel Therapy with Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens and so there you go all right before i get into like really diving in i want to get the full picture with all of our cards so let me pull some more cards here hmm interesting and one more we got cooperation instead of competition I love that card and unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to be blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action and allow those ideas to come to fruition. And then with cooperation instead of competition, what's yours is yours and no one can take it away from you. There's no need to compete as there's abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance and you're for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Okay. And being guided to get into and grab our tarot cards right off the bat here before we start diving in. Okay. Oh, here we go. Couple more here. Alrighty, so <laughs> what I'm getting here for you, Aquarius, is that, oh, and I didn't even tell you what cards we got here, <laughs> two of swords, the high priestess, uh, five of swords, and seven of cups so there are the tarot cards that we got along with angel therapy courage outdoors cooperation instead of competition and unlimited ideas which is also reminding me of this uh, high priestess card here those two kind of connecting um, angel therapy connecting with that two of swords and five of swords and seven of cups so what i'm feeling here is that <clears throat> you have been in a state of kind of fogginess, confusion, maybe even feeling like you're um, under psychic attack or something like that, dealing with stuff on multiple levels, just things coming up in the last couple weeks through the Stargate and before that, um, that really, what it's pointing to is the need for um, for healing, for deep healing, for releasing, for cord cutting, uh, because there is like, look at these, look at these cards. There's so much like 
in your head, confusion, what's going on here kind of thing. And what's interesting is that it, what I'm hearing is like you're on the cusp of a breakthrough, of like breaking through this feels very confined and they in outdoors <laughs> outdoors is like yeah that would really help you to get outside to connect with Gaia especially I'm seeing water um would really help with you Aquarius um even just a long bath in you know at home alone but if you can get into a lake a stream a river an ocean um anything like that or just be near it would be fantastic for you but you're really being asked to kind of surrender your story i'm hearing surrender your previous story everything that led up to now surrender that there's a lot of letting go that needs to happen because it feels like what I'm seeing here is holding on to a lot of pain and hurt judgment shame regret this kind of thing um wow all of a sudden my eyes started burning that's really interesting um <laughs> hey so I'm hearing like it's just it's, it's holding you back from seeing things clearly. And now is a time for, for these unlimited ideas, for the, um, the next chapter to begin. It's like, it's time to just let that go. Like you're, you're like, why did this happen? Why did that happen? Who, why did they do this? Why did they do that? Why didn't this happen? How come this? How come that? And then at the same time, it's like deep down, you know, because all of like, I feel kind of a riptide effect. It's like, if you can't get yourself out of, out of this, it'll take you into another thing that's kind of similar. And I feel this like spinning top into these things. And it's because there's this like holding on to, to the past is what I'm really feeling here. So Aquarius, work on uh, connecting with your guides and guardians, especially your guardian angel. If you have anybody that's like a healer, a counselor, um, I'm definitely available to help out. But and check out my website because I offer a lot. There's a lot there that's not even one-on-one -on -one to work with me. My eBooks, my podcasts, the rest of my videos, my self-healing meditations. The one that's coming up right now is the one to eliminate fear, guilt, shame, judgment associated with love, regret, money, um, and like mistakes, if we want to see them as mistakes. So I'm seeing that meditation. You might want to look into that one. It's one of my most popular ones. It's a really awesome self-healing channeled guided astral meditation. Uh, and you will, like, I feel like there's this, like what I'm getting here is there's a bit of like apprehension and fear to trust, to move into a space with other people, to be connected. You're like, there's just too much there and and it's like holding back but if you if you work on releasing the past letting go of situations that didn't work out or turn out the way you wanted or hoped or wished for and maybe there was like direct attacks against you things that you feel are very unfair that sort of thing um try not to regret or have judgment have the courage have the courage to see it from a, to see any of these situations from a point of view, from a higher perspective. Imagine it's your soul because that's really what wants to come in here is your soul to guide you. But there's like ego and hurt and pain that's like holding that back. And like I said, it feels very confined. And so it's time for the, for more to come in for that you know those psychic uh impressions and visions and insight and and guidance to come in to help you get into a new phase and maybe the stargate really brought up some stuff for you the reason why i was guided to do these uh these readings right after the stargate is to kind of 
bookend them with what may have gone on. So if this resonates with you, work on doing self-healing for yourself. You can start off with, I would, cord cutting is also coming up. I have a book, The Importance of Cord Cutting, and the there's a, a couple of, of episodes of my podcast, but there's the main channeled guided self-healing meditation that will take you through it. And it's very unlike any cord cutting you've ever done before very loving it's very deep it's very connecting with yourself your guides and it's bringing energy back that's yours that's connected to people situations and experiences that are no longer serving you that are pulling from your energy and that's what you really need to do to come back to yourself and to step into a very new space it's like you're at the cusp you're at the threshold I keep seeing you just have to push through decide that you're going to release these heavy burdens and pains and to come into a to a place of forgiveness and love and 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 I I think forgiveness is kind of a big deal here and so I try to see people or try to see situations and people personalities as more like these impermanent things but the soul is something that you can tap into and um into more so if you're having a hard time forgiving because you're like oh you know jenny that bitch she did this she did that she betrayed me she she stole from me she liked me whatever it is that, that you're that you that we think about people when we're upset or hurt by them and then kind of take off the mask of, of Jenny, the identity, the person, the this life's experiences and get into the soul, see the soul of the person. And then you can send love and healing and forgiveness to the soul of a person um, because that's really what we're, what it's about. And you may find that you have an easier time that way. Okay. Let's move on here to, uh, what's next? I'm spacing. Yeah, Pisces. <laughs> like, what's, what's next? Spice, Pisces. So we'll get into Pisces next. We're just going from one to the other here. So let's start here with, with Pisces. Welcome, Pisces. Let's get some messages for you. We just exited the stargate yesterday on the 15th so uh we're just getting some insight here on what was going on what's going on or what what we need to think about <sighs> gentleness with sandal fawn i'll show you the cards in a minute here i'm just gonna keep getting cards and clear your space okay nice I like that and leadership let's see what we get from angels of abundance nice we have obstacles and blocks are lifted Pisces Mother, Father, God is your source. I love it. Okay, so, and then let's get into tarot. Just gonna shuffle these a little bit. So, gentleness, clear your space, leadership, obstacles and blocks are lifted, and Mother, Father, God is your source. And let's see what we get for tarot. Oh, nice. Oh, ooh, okay. The devil, five of cups, three of cups, six of wands, and four of cups. Okay, so we got gentleness with sandal fawn. 
Uh, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Clear your space with Joe Feel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. Then we have leadership with Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. And obstacles are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy sh shift and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away, Pisces. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Yes. And then God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of Mother, Father, God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Okay, then the devil. Five of cups. Three of cups. Six of wands and four of cups okay so let me just tap in here for a second whoops okay so first of all i feel here with gentleness with sandal fawn it's like you're it's like what i'm feeling here is this like let's go let's go let's get this show on the road kind of energy like you're ready because you have done it's like with blocks um obstacles and blocks are lifted it's like you have been doing work on yourself you have been changing things you have been releasing healing meditating all of all of the good stuff that comes with working on yourself i feel maybe even doing some deep energy work or at least considering it um and it's like let's just maintain let's just maintain some patience <laughs> let's maintain some patience because there's still work to be done joe fiel with clear your space she is like look there's so many corners of your world that need attention so what we need to do is is like the inner and the outer so let's spend some time like the next couple weeks in may to go through your home your space your office your car any place that that you spend time and really take a look at what you got in there what is going on there aside from cleaning and clearing energetically with like sage and palo santo incense and all that just take a look at your space and your surroundings and um, start getting rid of stuff or moving stuff around. I am so big on moving my shit around in my house. It's really, really good for you. It's like not good to have that picture frame in the same spot for years on end and this crystal there and this vase there and this you know, whatever trinkets that you have just in the same spaces. Um, it's just, it's like, the energy just starts to like get roots and and to keep things fresh and lively and new in your in your field it's good to move stuff around so like if you have a table or if you have a section where it has like all this stuff on it like take a look at it and be like hmm, maybe i can move this here and move that there and just create a new space for yourself because the the energy coming in with that sort of with that and with that will really help you like channel your energy into into the outer because you've been like in 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 and making changes on the outside too is just a part of that but it's time to look it's like if places are dusty if there's like um just like moving furniture around moving uh just moving things around i'm just seeing that sort of thing uh and 
you're gonna be it's i feel like it's just a lot of guidance coming in for your for your moves like there's a lot coming there's a lot here um the devil card uh let's see the devil and the five of cups very similar energies coming here so check that out five of cups talking about disappointments and stuff and then the devil is about illusions feeling trapped that sort of thing um and i really feel like There's still bits here and there of energy in and around you that need healing, that are that are in need of um, like a rejuvenation kind of thing. So, uh, and also I'm feeling like a reconnection with uh people from your past may be coming up and that and that might be feeling really good for you uh or a new, like new people coming in so or both i'm seeing here or both and that's gonna feel really really good um and you're, you may even feel like so much is going to get lifted and shifted with your with you clearing or moving or changing your space around that it's going to be like a flow of energy coming in. And it could be with somebody you're going to meet or recently met um, that's going to really kind of create this like, oh my gosh, it's like a whole new world kind of thing. It, that's what it feels like and the only thing that that can really hold you back here is just overthinking it so try not to overthink because that's what I'm picking up with this four of cups is like overthinking so you want again be patient with the shifts and changes that are coming because a lot has happened a lot ha is happening um and and still some energy needs to be released from the past from disappointments from hurts from people being assholes and not treating you right or taking you for granted or even being abusive and and you feeling very conflicted but i feel like there has been a lot of of changes that have been done it just is like the remnants of it so um and this card with god is your choice this is like this is about faith this is a card about faith about you um being in faith having faith for what is coming and not being in fear so this is like really releasing fear of what you don't know of what's to come or who you know who you can trust or any of that stuff is more like to have more of the of the mindset that no matter who or what shows up that there's a purpose for it and you'll be you'll have that understanding to either um you know pursue or to or to uh just take little bits i'm kind of seeing but to not be in fear not just like your first reaction to not be one of like oh what's you know what's this about is this gonna go bad like who you know like any of that stuff because it's like this leadership card with gabriel it's like it's time to fill it and assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others but what i'm really feeling with this first and foremost is like leading yourself like allowing yourself to be led by your guides you know those you cannot see the unseen that are with you let yourself be be led and see how that feels like to really like faith again have faith in the process have patience in the process know that whatever's coming wherever you're being led whoever's coming back or whoever's coming in 
um, to to see this with with new eyes in a new way and to let go and release fear and you know of of the past because while our history our experiences help shape our future and what goes on it can also hold us back because it puts us in fear and fear is our lowest vibration it's what blocks us it's what talks us out of things it's that devil right it's the devil saying no don't do that don't do that this is bad this is scary this is this this is that hold back like don't do that don't go there like all of those things and and you're like this obstacles and blocks are lifted is saying you've been like ignoring those and and fighting through those those um, doubts and fears and stuff there's just a little bit more to get through there's more to release so like dig deep see about cutting cords read my book on cutting cords releasing fear i have awesome channel guided meditations for that but for the most part here it's about patience and really this clearing your space changing your space um and even like if you're considering moving that that might be a really good idea for you because it's like I'm hearing it's time like it's time for a whole new set of circumstances geography and all that good stuff so there you go um know that blocks and and obstacles are being lifted and it's just your job to just be in faith be gentle with yourself i gotta move these cards i keep hitting them be gentle with yourself be patient with yourself know that it's happening um but that like okay okay i want it to go i want it to happen i want it like oh let's have let's, <laughs> let's get this show on the road um kind of energy is is good but it's also distracting because there is stuff that still need to be needs to be done and worked on and organized like energetically with you and maybe if you are shifting into a new place you are moving or something is changing in your environment to align with that energetically so think about doing some um, energy work or you know if you can with somebody like me of course but otherwise just you know, even if it's Reiki, even if it's just listening to, to frequency music and really just spending a day or two just like all about like getting into body and clearing energy, doing meditations, these kind of things are really going to help you move into the future and have a better sense of, of like <laughs> what's so great is like these two cards, very similar five of cups and four of cups um with like what i'm seeing here but then three of cups and six of wands you know what's really interesting about that is that they they make two nines that's being pointed out to me here this five and this four and this three and the six and i kind of see them together like that yin yang and it's turning so there's this balancing going on this energy this energy together they're together here and this energy is is on is bookending the others so it's like this whoa it's like this if i could hold them all up at the same time we've got these two in the center and these two on the outside and they're they're both they both equal nine and nine is the number for light workers the nines is how our divine counterparts refer to us incarnates as light workers here and we all go through all of us go through this as as empaths and light workers incarnates but we're meant to have this so this is definitely coming for you this is very positive energy it's making me actually really warm um and it's just kind of saying you're doing great like stay patient just work on all of the different you know aspects and your guidance is coming through to point you in directions of where to go with that so listen 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 and this these next few weeks before june and heading into june is the perfect time for this so please uh, lean into that okay
Because if you're kind of in that, what do I do now? Like I'm in waiting mode or anything like that. There's plenty to do to get you ready for this next phase coming up. Alrighty, Pisces. That was awesome. Okay. Thanks for joining me, Pisces. Alrighty. Let's get into Aries. Lovely Aries. Let's shuffle these cards. Welcome, Aries. Alrighty. Like I said, pretty rapid fire. If you're used to me and my readings, they tend to be deep and longer. But today I was guided. We're going to do these uh, quickly and get some much needed information out there for you. So um, I hope that these messages resonate with you. Okay. And let's get into the Archangel Tarot. I mean, sorry, the Archangel Oracle. Okay, Indigo and Crystal Children. Uh, crystal clear intentions with Michael. So Metatron with Indigo and Crystal Children, Michael with crystal clear intentions, and then Jeremy L with life review, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Those are your Archangel Oracle cards. Let's get into Angels of Abundance here. Whoa. I will take that one. And we're going to take that one. <sighs> Alrighty. Pay yourself first and face your financial fears. So money, money. So we definitely, so what's interesting here is crystal is coming up here twice. Indigo and crystal children with Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. And crystal clear intentions with Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. And then over here at the end with your angels of abundance, we have pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. And then we have face your financial fears. When you're honest with yourself about fears of success or fail failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, that you in fact have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. And then... Life review with Jeremy L. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay, I feel a definite theme happening here, but I want to get some tarot. So let's get into tarot here and see what else we get. I'm just going to shuffle cards. A Whoa, what did I just do there? Shuffle cards. No idea what I did. Shuffle some cards and then we'll get more here. But I feel a theme. Okay. Aries. Let's get going here. Oh, yeah. Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So we have two of swords. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. The Hanged Man. 
two of cups and three of pentacles. Okay. So <sighs> I'm hearing inner child, inner child. So some inner child stuff or stuff about inner child time or when you were a child um, or you remembering stuff from being a child that's coming up for you right now and you're like hmm, what's happening so and maybe even through the stargate there was stuff about inner child stuff or or memories from childhood um that you're like why is this coming up now like what is this about why am i remembering this stuff and no matter what the theme is when we start to think about people situations experiences from long ago that we haven't thought about or just little happenings that were like this happened that like whatever when i say little was like snippets of memory coming through that is telling you that we need to uh either connect more with that time period and dig in there to see what else is connected this is very specific though about this inner child business um i have a meditation uh that is called he healing and integrating with your inner child and i highly suggest that you do that um and don't put it off have it as a priority because it's really going to help you moving forward this is like the life review is coming through too that is going to help you a lot because your your capacity for for love your capacity for loving yourself for giving to yourself or doing what needs to be done for you really starts with the inner child business and also allowing yourself to be led by the inner child so we have that going on here which is interesting um and we have these two excuse me these two cards here with pay yourself first and face your financial fears And what I'm getting here is more like if you're somebody that holds back from giving to yourself, from treating yourself, from investing in yourself or your wellness, that this whole inner child thing is really going to help you because you need to start seeing yourself if you haven't already as you are responsible for you as the adult but also you as the inner child and going back in time and pulling that inner child through into the present and making that a that relationship um like one in the now Without getting too deep into it, the the that channeled guided self healing meditation will um, help you with this because it's about you taking care of you on these different levels and not being like stingy or you know that or cheap with yourself because if you think about it like if it's your if it's your child or a child you're taking care of you're gonna want to to give to them and you're going to want to do what you have to do to invest time and energy and effort into cultivating them their their desires their passions and that's really kind of what this is about is like once you heal and integrate with that inner child you can better connect with your soul because if you go back to to early childhood you'll have the understanding better of of really what you're doing here as a incarnate as a soul be as a person because the child is so much closer when we're little we're closer to that divine knowledge and understanding and the veil is so much thinner for little ones especially if you're 
if you're a, a little light worker, crystal, indigo, rainbow, anything like that. And this is also about love, about like, how did you receive love? Who did you receive love from? What was the love like? Was it transactional? Was it conditional? And did you like have to, to do to get kind of thing? Like if I'm this, I get. If I'm that, I don't get. Like that sort of thing. Um, and really invest the time, energy, and effort in the now to take care of these things for yourself. And uh, I feel like like stuff and things that interested you from childhood is peeking its way through and you're just kind of sorting it out and maybe you spent time as a child just wanting to get older and wanting to be past that stage of life I know it was like that for me I could not wait to be an adult um and so I'm kind of getting that here too. It's like that sort of thing. Like we think as children, when, once we get to be an adult, like it'll solve all of our problems because we'll be in control. But when all those years go by and we're finally an adult, it's like there's a lot of stuff that happened that we're, we're just kind of wanting to escape from. But to be able to move forward, we need to go back and see what we're still tied to that is holding us back. Literally, see how she's, she cannot see and she's got, there's all these strings attached to the birds and they're, it's, it's confusing energy. She can't see where she's going. And that's, that's really interesting. You know, which other thing is really interesting is point being pointed out to me here is that there's yeah, there's four cards here and they all have their eyes closed. The hanged man. But light is coming through to that hanged man, the magician. Queen of Pentacles. And this two of swords, very interesting. And again, we got life review, so it's really important to. Um, and and what I'm and the thing is about these these three cards with these eyes closed. This is about going within, meditating, um, getting into source, and allowing for that to happen. So. Again, you can do this on your own. There is that guided meditation I highly, highly recommend along with um, the cord cutting because my book on cord cutting will help you assess your life and do an inventory of what you're still connected to and how and that guided meditation will uh, help you to bring back that energy into yourself and to be intentional about it. Michael's coming through saying, this is the time to spend on yourself to invest. Investment is really what I'm hearing here. This pay yourself first. This is about investing in you. So extrapolate what is holding you back. Um, because this connection with yourself, your soul, your inner child, you see, we have like, this card is always telling me this thing. It's like, we have the, the, uh, the child here we have. So the way that I read this card specifically, like this is your soul or your guides and guardians. This is your inner child. And whoop, this is you so again we're we don't see the face we don't see the eyes let's assume they're closed um even though she's like sitting there and she's weaving there's just something about this it's like that needs to come into play this allowing for for going it's like going back in time it's like time warp time time travel really is necessary so you can you know move forward um in the best way you can this can also mean 
uh, investing in yourself by uh, literally paying for services that is going to help you, whether it's a counselor, Reiki, me, if you're so guided to do any of the offerings that I do to help you out. Whatever it is, it's like, yes, do it, invest. You'll feel that inner knowing. But again, start with, start with the, the self-healing meditation and see how you feel after that. Give yourself a couple days to connect back with that inner child. That's just like really what's coming through here. And also this Queen of Pentacles, I always feel is Mother Gaia coming through very specifically. Um, with this deck that she is really sending you energy um, asking you to connect with her from that place of the inner child um, and connect with nature connect with your passions with art with animals with and and this is like the perfect time spring and summer of course if you're in the northern hemisphere to get out into nature to connect meditate in nature go into water i'm hearing too the water is coming through here if you can meditate in water that's even better that's my that's always what i suggest if um if you can if you have a bathtub you can you can do that just to connect with your guides so there you go lovely aries thank you for joining me i hope this message or these messages um, resonate with you and help you out for the future okay let's move on going to Taurus now welcome Taurus we're gonna get into it first with our angel or sorry Archangel Oracle I can't seem to say that right today Archangel Oracle we're gonna see we're gonna get messages from first okay Taurus let's see what we get here oh these two clairvoyance and victory I love it I want one more and there we go oh we just had this card interesting and I will share with you in a second. I'm moving right along to Angels of Abundance. Wow, Taurus. Very nice. Okay, let me share with you what we got. We got clairvoyance with Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Then we have victory with Sandalfon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. And then indigo and crystal children. Um, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive and windfall of abundance. Uh, it, an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Awesome. And then no more complaining. <laughs> Love this card. No more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to get into the tarot. Let's do some... Shut well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> when that happens. It's like, nope, rejected. <laughs> These cards are so stiff. That's why I have to split them up into two piles to shuffle them like this. And it's still hard for me. They're just really stiff cards. Okay. Okay. Those three cards, whatever these are, they want to be out. High Priestess, 
two of wands strength and I'm hearing all of these are right side up even though I first saw them in reverse eight of swords the moon and the devil okay so the high priestess two of wands strength eight of wands the moon and the devil okay -wee. let's see here what are we getting so interesting the high priest is coming in right below clairvoyance with i'm helping with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can uh, feel and know heavenly love okay taurus first off congratulations on what you've been working on what you've been doing um, you have been tapping in spiritually, psychically, you have been going within, you have been meditating, you have been contemplating, you have been writing. This is all really, really awesome. Um, there's so much energy coming in for you. The strength card is showing your capacity to forgive and let go and to move on um which is fantastic this moon card uh it's pointing to this cycle this last cycle from the 26th of april to the 20 the 26th i think we have our full moon now i'm spacing yeah yeah, it is the 26th. So we go 26th of April to 26th of May, which is interesting. Um, and that is also an eight. And this this cycle has been really profoundly meaningful and like a level up for you, probably through this Stargate too. You pro you were maybe faced with some challenges and you just like, whew, like I see you like skimming straight over it. You have not taken the bait to lower your vibration, which is fantastic maybe you did my uh meditation for the full moon last month and that really helped you that's what i'm seeing here for some of you which is so great and uh it's interesting again these two cards no more complaining and the devil coming um like the devil coming right underneath that no more complaining because again complain like what they said in the card is complaints are a form of, of being a victim. And the devil card is about illusions and entrapment and feeling stuck and all this stuff being held back. And so uh, it's understanding that process of how that how that works. Um, because when we give attention to like, the things that aren't working or the things that mess us up or the things that didn't go right or any of that stuff we are we're allowing that devil illusionment energy to overshadow and for me what i'm seeing here is just like stay in that stay in that higher vibration of of seeing the magic is really what I'm hearing here. Seeing and feeling the magic. And it all, I also feel, Taurus, that you're really connected with, or your guides are really connected with you. Um, I feel hardcore uh, guardian angel energy. Like you're leaning into that more, which is fantastic. The more you communicate, talk to, pray to, whatever, however you want to put it with your guides and guardians, with your, oh, it's my dog. Okay. I was like, what is she eating? I, she finally got to her breakfast. <laughs> like, okay. Um, you are being 
you you are tapping in more you are feeling their energy and it is a victory because they're show like these two cards here that's exactly what it's pointing to like you're almost like seeing and feeling that energy like you did or like or like we do when we're children uh is really tapping in and feeling the energy of of the presence of our guides and guardians and your clairvoyance clairvoyance is is spiritual so your so your third eye your third eye really and, and this high priestess card it's like visions and premonitions and just insight and understanding on a bigger scale just from from a from a higher perspective and whatever it is that isn't working out to just understand that sometimes we we or that hasn't yet transformed or or had that transfiguration into new energy um for you but let's not forget we have this windfall of abundance so what i'm hearing here is just like like you've been doing well with staying out, like getting out of your own way. Like when a fear pops up, when you start to doubt, when you start to, you know, judge that you're just like, roll it back, not going there, staying, staying this way about it. Just, you know, like that is what needs to keep happening because there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be things put into play that's going to, you know, um, like want to be a check on your vibration on your station so um so through and through the this cycle of of the full moon coming through the the 26 and it's a lunar eclipse in sagittarius excuse me in sagittarius it's a it's a big power boost for for resetting it's like like <laughs> putting so much energy into like the proverbial wood chipper and just releasing that turning big and heavy into small little particles and poof, letting it go um and there's just a bit more of that that needs to be done uh it would be a really good idea for you to uh level up by doing some deep clearing and healing work for yourself energetically because it's just going to deepen your connection with Gaia with your guides and guardians with your soul so if you can take yourself there however you're guided to work with yourself and your energy whether it's with a, somebody that does Reiki or myself a shaman who gets really deep energetically or just with yourself and really putting the time energy and effort into uh getting in touch with your soul with your inner child um and and paying attention to what it is that triggers you to like try to like push on those buttons for lower vibration because it's more of a check i just keep seeing this this is more of a check like where are you let's check and see okay and then there you go like you're getting better at understanding how that all works because it's constant especially through a stargate so you may have had some of that through the stargate or may have felt kind of con con constricted a bit which is kind of tends to happen with stargates and if you're unfamiliar with stargates please check out my video about stargates and how that all works every single month but again like i said at the beginning congrats congratulations taurus because you're you've really come a long way with like lifting your head above the muck and see being able to see more clearly i just keep getting this like higher perspective thing with you like you're um, like you're the moon kind of thing <laughs> like that's just like I kept seeing that, so I'm finally saying it. It's like you're the moon. You're connecting with with on a higher level here, which is fantastic. Just dig in deeper. Don't think that don't be like, oh, okay, this is great here. This is, you know, this is where I'm supposed to be. It's like, no. You've literally just begun and so much is coming to like push you through. It's like like you're sitting there like at the like uh, uh if you've ever been to a water park, there's like 
uh, water slides where, you know, you either go into the water slide. There's some that you sit there and like the water will come and push you. And that's what it feels like. The water's going to come and push you because there is a lot of magic. Like, look at these two cards. Awesome how these are like ending up. Windfall of Abundance and Eight of Wands. One on top of the other. Awesome energy. And... We just need to uh, really dig into that faith. Know that more magic is coming. There's Santa. He's magical. These eight of wands, they're magical. They want to push you. We've got Sandalfon saying victory. And you just needing to, um, again, keep, stay out of, keep on staying out of your way. And keep on with the guidance. Keep on with this. Don't let distractions come in. And work on... Um, <sighs> Sorry, just kind of had a... <sighs> if anything, right now, what would be good for you, it would be to... Uh, tap in with your guides about how you should move forward with um, with any kind of healing and clearing and meditation. Uh, the one meditation that keeps coming up through these reads is the one that I did. It's the channeled guided self healing meditation for fear shame guilt um judgment it's to help you release that stuff and if you haven't done it yet please do it because it'll be a major boost um in releasing energy and cord cutting as well i mean I, this is just a theme coming up i mean i you may have already done it but you may have just done a couple and it need and more needs to more needs to come there is still some connection here with uh being connected to some energy with this devil card too being connected to some energy that's that is still um actively pulling from your life force that needs to come back into you because the more of your life force that comes into you the more disconnection of cords to traumas people experiences whatever it is that comes back into the body the higher your your life force the better your vibration the better you can have this clairvoyance come in and and get your guidance the more abundance can come in so it's, it's like maximize on this energy that's already been going on for you lovely taurus okay let's uh continue here what do we have next? Gemini. I always have to look at my list because I tend to forget some. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, beautiful Taurus. Again, congratulations on your work. And uh, have a great rest of your month. Okay. Let's get into Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. Starting off with archangel oracle wow i got it right that time <laughs> been messing up what these are called archangel oracle first here for us so welcome gemini oh there's a card there's a card there's a card. Oh, I love it. Let me get the rest of these cards here. I'm going to go to Angels of Abundance. And then I will share with you what you got. Okay. Angels of Abundance for Gemini. Alrighty. So we got career transition with Shamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Then comfort with Azriel. I am with you in your time of need, helping you to heal, helping your heart to heal. 
Then gifts from God with sandal fawn. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. And then we have conscious consumer and sever vows of poverty. So conscious consumer, you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Then we have sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do, all effects of these vows will be undone for anyone involved in all directions of time. I love that so much. Okay, so I want to get tarot. So let's get into tarot real quick. And then we'll get into the messages. That was fast. <laughs> Got two cards and I will share with you what those are in just a second. If I can get a handle on these cards, all of a sudden my hands aren't working with these cards. One more. There it is. Okay. All righty. So we got judgment. Three of wands. The, st whoop, the star. And that is right up. And then seven of pentacles. And six of wands. Okay. So, my dear Gemini, I'm feeling like there was big change and something that you would consider a loss. Now, this could have been, it feels more personal, like a breakup, maybe even somebody that crossed over, um, some kind of big shift, some type of transition. And you're still kind of recovering from that. And this could be in the last three to six months or the last month. Uh, maybe energies came through in the Stargate between 5.5 and 5.15 that we just got done with, as I said at the top, where we're... Um, those like energies kind of come up for us to be aware of, to trigger us, to, to make us see where we're still like... Where we still have fuel to be lit that is of the negative variety the lower vibrational variety uh, and maybe you've been kind of self-soothing by indulging in some things that are just kind of empty I, I mean this could be from Maybe not eating right, maybe spending money on things that aren't really like meaningful, that's more spontaneous kind of stuff that you're just like kind of feeding. It's kind of like pacifying, I guess is the best way to put that. Um, and then it's like, oh, then the guilt comes in about like, and the shame, like, oh, I spent money on that or I did this and it was, that was, you know, pointless or useless or any of that stuff. So there's this kind of like little cycle going on. Um, so it's really, I'm hearing surrender. It's really time to surrender, like, because it feels like distractions. Like you're distracting yourself from dealing with the thing that like getting to the heart of what needs to be taken care of. Um, like you're in that like transitional period of getting things back to making sense. 
Um, but everything is shifted, so it's like a whole lot isn't making sense. So what? And everybody goes through this at least a couple times in their lives where it's like, like the rug gets pulled out from under you, or maybe you saw it coming, but may you possibly didn't. And now it's just like everything is shifted and like the world is just different. And um, again, surrender. Surrender is coming up. The need for solitude, the need to, to, to stop the distractions and to get into like what's going on and really process really allow yourself to feel like what i call the real feels let yourself feel the real feels to be in that pocket even if it is uncomfortable if you're somebody who's open to mushrooms that might really help you out that just popped into my head really might help you out that sort of thing because there is this upper left look at these two cards the star and gifts from god one on top of the other it was like this the way that they land these cards are all landing really really interesting in these reads even the colors are similar um for this for this pairing and it's like the gifts from god insight information guidance from your from your guides and guardians especially your guardian angel if you if you're um it all like feel a connection with archangels to really tap in with that energy because they're going to help sift this through for you. And I literally see like a sifter. Like I'm thinking of like being at the at the beach as a child and you have that sifter and you go like that and it's like all the sand comes through and then you're left with the, the shells or whatever on top. They're going to help you sift out and let things go and, and have you look at what's left and what needs to be, um, you know, discovered and all of that. Like what is going to take you through this transition? Like this seven of pentacles is about planting seeds and allowing things to grow and being and like going through that growth cycle because that's kind of how it works in life, right? We we build, things get destruct, you know, they become deconstructed and deconstructed and reconstructed. And even though we didn't get the tower here, it feels like that has happened. There is a tower moment in the recent to not so distant past that caused that like boom boom kind of thing, this transitional thing. And I know we started here with this career transition with Chamuel, but it's more like it's not it, it involves more than just your career or just your job or how you make money. And maybe that didn't even happen yet. Maybe it's what's coming. This is what this card is about. What's coming will put like real will shift you into a new lane. But first, what needs to happen is allowing yourself to not stuff the energy that shook you up and to allow that to come up and sift it through again and release it let it go so you can see why this happened there's a reason why this happened whatever it was and i feel that it was interpersonal some type of relationship that that fractured that ended or majorly shifted and trans had a transitional type of a situation that is caught ca that caused this like reset for yourself but it wasn't like you made that conscious decision for that it's like more like it happened and you having to deal with the ramifications of that so what I would suggest, and this is a kind of a theme coming up here for sure, would be to, uh, if you haven't already, read my ebook on the importance of cord cutting and do the cord cutting um, because there's energy still connected to you uh, that needs to separate. And and what the cord cutting does, it's very different from most all cord cuttings. If you've tried it before, those tend to be kind of 
invasive and violent even and and harsh with cord cutting where, where it's really about pulling the energy back from another person's situation experience trauma whatever bringing that life force back into your body instead of ta- letting something else keep ta- it stayed ta- it being tapped into gosh i can't talk um because once we do that we're able to plant new seeds and there's really going to be this new like light shining on you you'll see like oh i get it now like like it's better like whatever this transition is once you get through the storm of everything the tornado of everything shifting around you'll be like oh this is actually better but to be able to see all that and feel all that for what it is you do need that releasement and uh I'm even hearing like a ritual like writing out the story on paper I mean you can type it and then print it so that works too um either way but have it on paper and do a ritual if you want to like set yourself up for that to do like on the full moon there's a solar eclipse sorry a lunar eclipse full moon uh on the 26th um in Sagittarius which is a fire sign and I just got this when I'm looking at this three of wands card with the fire and her contemplating the you know where she's going and what's happening she's waiting for the waves to come in so she could ride the waves and that's really kind of what needs to happen there needs to be a ritual of releasement in a very intentional way aside from cord cutting aside from any other type of healing that you, that you can do this is very important for you to do uh gemini would be to write it out uh, write out your story write out how you feel write out what happened write out you know the what's important is is that you surrender you release you forgive you move on you send love like all of that stuff and allowing to, that that type of fire ritual is really um it's so cleansing and clearing energetically because it's and it's making me emotional to think about it whoa Whew. there's just something here about that when I get emotions like that it means that I'm really tapping into the energy here and really what needs to be healed this will be kind of like your like one of the big steps forward in healing and of seeing things clearly so take that I hope that helps because I want you to know that this this energy is coming um, for you and if it's connected to money in any way just uh, release the the idea that you know if you're like I'm always going to struggle there's never going to be enough there's always going to be like you know something in the way of me having having what I need or any if if it's attached to any kind of money stuff it's really time to let that go because the gifts from God and the star is like telling you like no it's there it's coming it's ready for you you just have to be in the frequency to receive it that's that's what it is gifts from God it's like a, abundance in many form people experiences money ex- um, um, opportunities a shift in direction like inspiration like passion like all of these things are gonna help balance you out Gemini so I feel this like great imbalance that's happened has really just knocked you over and you're just like how do I get back up and get into a some type of you know balance again and so that is definitely happening so anyway Gemini I hope this helps um don't forget that you are very much loved your guides are with you there is stuff coming through you will see the the reason and the purpose for all this moving forward okay Gemini have a beautiful rest of May now we are moving on what's up for Gemini cancer that's right cancer okay welcome cancer welcome to this mid-month read 
what I call rapid fire because most of my readings are long and in, and detailed and deep dives. So I'm really stoked to be doing these shorter, straight to the point readings for you. So here we go. Getting into it. Number one with the Archangel Oracle cancer alrighty love let's see what we get here I am excited for this first one I can't even barely see it because it's in glare divine order and then prioritize awesome let's get one more here creative writing so we have divine order with raguel everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlying order prioritize with metatron focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated and then creative writing with archangel gabriel uh, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen and article or book. Oh, I love this so far. So let's keep going with our, uh, actually I want to shuffle this. Angels of Abundance Oracle. My hands are having a hard time dancing today. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> ah, let go of guilt coming out first. Take a divinely guided chance. Love it. And a third one. Okay. Windfall of abundance. Oh, I love it. Second time I've seen this card in these readings and I love it. Love that card so much. So let me show you what we got. Divine order with Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, pen, an article, or book. Let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Yes, 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 yes. And then take a divinely guided chance. We have two cards here talking about divine order, divinely guided chances. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Look at the magic cancer. And then windfall of abundance. I love this card so much. It really taps into my inner child. <laughs> that Santa and all those, the Santa, the gifts, all the animals. Look at, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Oh, this is so great. I'm so into this. <laughs> It's such great energy. Love, love, love. Okay, let's get into the tarot and we'll get our messages because they're starting to, I'm feeling them. Yeah, I can't shuffle these, this deck as a whole. It's way too, way too stiff. It's like so hard. It's like, are you going to loosen up at any time? <laughs> this deck, this deck. I love this tarot deck though. I really do. Um, it's the Light Seer's tarot. And I really dig it. Okay, so Cancer. Let's get into it here. Ooh, look at that. Okay. 
Oh, making my nose run with my third eye. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see what we got here. Going all straight up here with these cards. So we've got six of swords. Ace of swords. Was that swords? Yeah, swords. Ten of pentacles. Eight of cups. Four of cups. And knight of cups. Okie dokie. Got six oracle and six tarot. And the way this is working out with these reads have been really interesting with placement, which I'm always really into. So, Cancer. We definitely have you moving into a new direction. Um, like I said, we have take a divinely guided chance and divine order here. So you're definitely being guided, definitely being guided towards new, towards new, you're being guided. So that is coming through really strong. You're definitely getting greater insight. That third eye is active. Um, and a lot of ideas are coming through and you are, Definitely in need to get stuff out. Um, I feel like there's been maybe like little bits and pieces of you sharing of yourself, but it's like more needs to happen. More needs to happen there. Um, and when I say sharing of yourself, I mean like on a greater, grander scale, like with the collective. Um, I also feel like there's some things, some, this let go of guilt, like that's very much connected. It's interesting that we have these young angels here because uh, what I felt with this before I even tapped into noticing that was that there's something here about like, if you're a parent feeling guilty about your children, um, some like something, uh, something with that, maybe not for everybody that's going to watch this, but th that's like, I picked up on that. Like, like maybe you're not there for them as much as you would want to be. Um, but again, understand that everything happens for a reason and it's not like you're an absentee parent. Just think you put a lot of pressure on yourself to kind of do the best that you can and to be perfect and you're not perfect you're never going to be perfect so you got to let it go that there's been things that have gone on that you know may have not been the best thing but it's not going to help you to beat yourself up over it everything happens for a reason you need to stay you need to stay in that. Like if you find yourself, look at these. That's like I said about these, the placement with these cards. It's really interesting. Let go of guilt and the eight of cups right below it. And in this sense, it's kind of like, don't let yourself go off in your head down a road of contemplation that is just about reliving past mistakes especially when it comes to your children because you're so connected energetically that when you start reliving events and feeling guilty and shame and having judgment on yourself about whatever it is it is going to trickle down to them in some way energetically like on a on a cellular level because of your connection and it also wouldn't be a bad idea to cut cords or reset cords I should say with your children especially if there was events where you really feel badly about that that um and don't think that that these cords won't be you can like they will reset but it'll be like a, a like a hard reset control alt delete that really starts things back up in an energetic way that's going to help you um 
and I'm seeing like write write it out write out the situation of of how you're feeling in that regard what you want to move away from because you're moving into a different a different stage here and Metatron will prioritize so tapping in with Metatron would be really great for you if you don't already because he's about like I always see him like as the the coach that makes you get shit done that's like no 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 no! don't get distracted with that don't get distracted with this this is what you're gonna do and really helps you like blinders like the you know like the what are those calls where the, they put on horses when they're racing so they don't get distracted with what's on the sides of them and they just like look forward <laughs> just do this is what I'm seeing him do in this specific instance. And like there's things that you're just like haven't had time for that. Haven't had time for that. Haven't had time for that. Like output of stuff, art, writing, videos, podcasts, whatever that it may be. I'm feeling this energy that it's like that it's like time to think about all the different stuff and ways that you're guided and to prioritize those things check in with those like metatron and gabriel to help you get into an alignment of flow that's going to allow for this new business to come in because it really feels like there's a lot coming in maybe even at times you feel overwhelmed um and that there are a there's this ten of pentacles showing me a couple of things here it's like on both sides of the veil you have a lot of guidance on the other side and you're going to be coming into more and more people on this side of the veil who are able to also guide you into the future or be with you to collaborate in the future to build into the future um take a divinely guided chance again this is about new opportunities new doors coming up for you and for you to not let anything from the past hold you back or anything that says oh i should do this like should do that or i shouldn't do this or i need time for that or should any of that should stuff is like delete because if it's coming up and it's something that you feel you should be doing, you're being guided to it, and it's in the sacrifice of maybe other things, that's where the prioritization comes in. Where it's like things have shifted, so you need to shift with it and go in that direction that you're being guided in. Even if you have like, oh, I thought I was going to do this. Like I can really relate to that because I could be like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then my guidance comes through and it's completely different. I can be like, no, I'm going to do this because this is what I planned. Or I could just be like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm doing that. And not be bogged down with this like I didn't do or I should have done or any of that crap because that's not true. That's your ego. That's your control. That's your identity saying I want to be perfect. And again, you can't be perfect. <laughs> you can just be guided in and, and this is feeling very like you're you're like like that type of energy that needs to just go as guided that you really need to go as guided this like divinely guided business is coming through you being guided information coming in the other side writing out writing things out whether you have stories or articles or anything like that or if it's just to help you get things settled please um don't ignore that and when you feel any confusion or any stuckness about what you should do uh just take a beat like just it's like a hundred percent of the pressure that you feel to produce is coming from you and you only having two hands and two arms and one brain and one body i've i've gone through that myself where it's just so much coming through for me to put out that it's just this overwhelming pressure and i've had to just go this is just me this is not coming from 
the archangels, my guides and guardians, from the high council, from, you know, the other side. This is them putting in, pl sorry, plant, keep bonking, bonking you. I keep, to keep putting things in front of you to show you the way, but it's not saying, like, you have to do this right now, and you have to do this right now, and you have to do this, and you have to do that, and you have to sacrifice sleep and eat and food and nature and sunlight and fun to get this stuff done. It's just for some of us, we're put here to be healers, messengers, shamans, mystics, whatever, and to put messages and information out into the world, and we can let that get really big it's like our like sometimes it's like well not anymore because I've gotten a lot better at it but it's like my head is this big and I'm just like you know kind of like a toddler and they get my it's like whoa <laughs> it's like too big too much and I'm kind of feeling that like don't let yourself get overwhelmed with everything just take notes of what is coming through and then every day um, tap into that tap into Metatron he's so good at going when you go what should I do should I do this or that it's like boom there it is and just do just do and go as guided that's like the best thing I can say and stop stop with the guilt stop with the shame and the judgment that really needs to be released so cut cords to that reset cords to that if you haven't read my book on the importance of cord cutting please do and please do the meditations, do your inventory that I, how I describe in the ebook, and then do, do the, the cord cutting, uh, cord cuttings. It's always going to be plural. Uh, and this, lastly, this, <laughs> the placement of these cards are killing me today. Windfall of Abundance and Knight of Cups right underneath. Windfall of Abundance. This is how they're sitting on my table like that. And uh, yeah, there is a lot coming through. A lot of... A lot of abundance in different ways. And I think you already know that. You're like, I know this stuff is... I know that I'm on the right path. I know that I'm... I'm doing stuff. It's just there's a lot of past negative uh, energy that that keeps on like getting your attention. And there very well could be people in your world that want to hold you back from not from not producing because they're jealous they don't get it they're whatever they're programmed that way I mean there's many reasons it doesn't really matter but it's really you are in control of your energy if you take control of your energy so do the inventory think about you know what those energies may be that need reset and begin to do that because there is like once you do that and you're as you're moving and transitioning there's just cleanup there's like those you know rocks in the road that either that we need to get out of the way so we can move forward and that's kind of what i'm feeling here there's just some rocks in the road that are um in your way right now but they're there for a reason they're there to tell you what need what you need to go and move forward with so there you go, lovely Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me for this read. I really appreciate it. Next we're moving. What's after Cancer? Ah, Leo, of course. Leo. So let's move on to Leo. Okay. Welcome, Leo. We're going to start with. And my bummed because my speaker is dying. And I don't understand why it uses more battery to tell me that the battery's dying than <laughs> with its beeping at me. So now we have music over here. Okay. Okay, so. Starting with the Archangel Oracle for Leo. So welcome again, Leo, to this read. I really appreciate you being here. We're 
remember who you are with Michael. And next, Claire Audience with Zad Kiel. I'll show you the cards here in a minute when we're done. I want that one. Patience with Joe Fiel. Okay, and then let's get you Angels of Abundance. I'll get all these cards and then I will share them with you. And one more. There it is. Okay, easy peasy. So we got remember who you are with Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And then a uh, clear audience with Zadkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Patience with Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, still they need more nurturing and patience. And then pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. And then it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resource, resources you have have available to share with others open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good for good coming to you and through you as it blesses this world awesome and then clean energy food when you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet you increase your energy levels and ability to focus this automatically leads to more efficiency better ideas and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships absolutely okay so let's get tarot and then we'll get into the read if i could grab them all that would be great okay leo 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 okay I want to officially thank you for being here, Leo, as we get our first card hovering on my hand. Eight of Pentacles, the star, two of wands. And I will show them to you as soon as we get all the cards here. of pentacles a couple of twos right next to each other interesting the sun oh. and five of wands okay let me just check in here all right side up interesting today with that okay so remember who you are clear audience patience pay yourself first it is safe for you to receive clean energy food eight of pentacles the star two of wands two of pentacles the sun and five of wands okay It's so interesting the way these cards are, are are lining up with these readings. It's just a very interesting. Uh, we have remember who you are with the eight of wands coming in right below it, and this remember who you are business 
is really about tapping into it's like I'm also I'm almost hearing like it's 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 like not even necessarily like the remember who you are and how powerful oh, excuse me it's it's kind of like remember like tap in with your soul and what you're meant to do listen to your soul and we have clear audience right underneath of it with the star card they're even similar in colors uh and there's the, the clear audience notice loving guidance from inside your mind and from other people that's getting clear clear messages and you are being connected to by your higher self, your, um, definitely guides, your guides are wanting to steer you in the right direction as far as what you're meant to be doing what you're meant to discover and work on and solitude is necessary. I kind of feel like there's time to connect and give of your energy to others, but there's time that you need to be alone. Um, because I see this five of wands. There's a lot going on there. So the five of wands, especially in this deck, the five of wands, this could, this can, indicate either cooperation with other people or that there's too many people in the environment that you need to separate yourself from so you can see clearly uh patience and the two of wands coming in right underneath of it is in this two of wands is really it's about contemplation being patient allowing for the energy to flow without forcing it without like imposing your dominance or trying to force things um Probably being patient is one of the hardest things to do with Ascension, I've got to say. I've gotten to a point where I feel like I'm, I've am i really reached a level of being patient on so many, on many levels. But it's taken a while because it's it's a hard one. Patient, being patient with yourself, being patient with the process, being patient with others, being patient with time, being patient with circumstances. And it's ever changing and there's more to be patient for and about. And so it's just, it's like, it's almost like how many times do you get flicked with a rubber band, you know, on your wrist or whatever before you're like, yeah, that's, I'm just zen about it. Like, it's almost like that. It's like how many times can you be poked at without, without feeling the need to to, to react or to do something it's interesting there's definitely a need for more for balance i feel like there's just things are out of balance here energetically physically emotionally um that possibly your focus has been on the basics and when i say that it's just like the basics are like food shelter money you know health like on a very basic level and um and it's time to expand into um a, a new phase of being to let the past go whatever may have not worked out especially with others it just wasn't what can i say it just wasn't the right set the right combination and you weren't like right you it's like either i don't know if that's even right it's just thing sometimes we get into a into things with people into relationships into partnerships into even 
acquaintanceships with people and we tend to build them up bigger than what they actually are and because we want deeper connections we want things to to have deeper meaning um but they're maybe not not everything is meant to be that way not every person you meet is meant to be in your life or be in your life in a deep and meaningful way or maybe they are meant to be in your life for a deep and meaningful way but only for a short amount of time not everybody is meant to be with us deeply infinitely um connected and and sometimes that's just a hard pill to swallow but the need to the it's necessary this is just a theme coming in so many of these reading definitely necessary to do some to do cord cutting do an inventory of your energy of your life and see what comes up and if you haven't yet read my book on cord cutting it's called the importance of cord cutting and the companion meditations uh, or meditation and podcasts that come with it please check it out it's all free on my website thehealingbutterfly.org because that is really what I'm feeling here. It will help you to receive. And it is safe for you to receive. And look at the sun card. The sun card coming through directly under. It is safe for you to receive. It is really letting you know. There's a lot of energy coming through to steer you in the direction that you need to go in. But you need to stop focusing on what didn't work or what hasn't connected or what stopped being connected and move into a new place of being. Your diet has a lot to do with that. So especially, um, I would say, if you're still eating meat, watch my latest video on empaths and meat and why it's so bad for you. Gets into the energy of as to why you shouldn't eat meat. Maybe you stopped eating meat. Maybe you started it again. It is an addiction. It, and I get into that in the video. Uh, it's a biological addiction that our body does crave that. But it really messes us up energetically. Really puts in a lot of lower frequency energies into our body. So that's definitely coming through. Uh, and just the need for you to get into a place of solitude um because it feels like there's just a lot of clutter of people way too many people to be focused on um or if they're gone that you're still thinking about them that you're still connected they're still connected to you back to the cord cutting i mean you see how busy this is with those with those wands and how they're all over it just pretend this is your insides okay pretend this is on the inside of you and look at all those people climbing all over your energy like i really see that here you will be guided deeply to connect and um connect with your guide so you can have uh that that positive reinforcement for exactly what you need, need to do. I feel like healing is a big part of this. Like there's let down disappointments, like confusion, but also that you're a very willful person. <laughs> Leo, imagine that. That it's kind of like, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to get. And this is how I'm going to get it. And stubbornness and that's the opposite of patience and to allow for the flow to come through remember patience with Jophiel that is a big deal here so uh and pay yourself first is this is like look at the two pentacles right below pay yourself first like even these colors of these cards it's like it's tripping me out today how <laughs> it's lining up um the two of pentacles wants balance balance in the body balance in your life and pay yourself first is about taking care of of how you like take care of yourself the way you would take care of a child really really um 
do that for yourself right now because that is really necessary because there is a lot of incoming and for you to be able to sift through that really needs you to to give yourself the attention for releasing uh, energy and seeing clearly letting go of judgment I'm feeling like judgment of yourself judgment of others has been kind of a thing uh, I'm kind of hearing like if they would just let me do it my way then everything would be great and it's like mm, not necessarily that's you that's your ego that's your need to control and that's part of what needs to be healed here is to be guided and not the need to control um and so with that or how that comes to be is by releasing energies that are connected to others and situations experiences that that keep pushing on those buttons that as new comes in you're still like reacting to the past and living in past energy is kind of what I'm feeling here. So, um, it's almost like I'm hearing like it's time to go to school, but not regular school. Like the school that you're being guided to for yourself, for your own um, wellness. And to take the guidance that's coming in from your soul from your guides and guardians to heart here because that is really what needs to happen invest in the things that are going to help you whether it's a retreat whether it's um you know even an app or whether it's actual like working with somebody reiki or me if you're so guided um in that way let's see here And with this, it's safe for you to receive right above the star card. If I can pick it up. What I heard there is there's a, there is incoming. There is incoming for you to help you in many different ways. But if you're holding on to a bunch of empty boxes and a bunch of shit in boxes from other things and people and places and circumstances, it's going to be really hard for you to receive that like major light and epiphanies and revelations and aha moments and, and all of that incoming because your attention is elsewhere. So, so there needs to be a, a time for releasing being patient, letting it settle in, and then receiving. So do what you can in the next couple weeks, especially if you can before the full moon on the 26th. We've got 10 days. So again, download the ebook, do the cord cutting um, meditation, do your inventory, and whatever else comes through for you um, that you're guided to. I have a lot of meditations. There's the inner child one would be great for you. Um, healing and integrating with the inner child, releasing fear, fear, doubt, shame, guilt, associated with money, um, love, mistakes, and whatever. It's like it's a lot and <laughs> whatever. It really covers a lot of bases there for releasing negative energy. You're very much guided to do that as soon as you can. And it, also um spending time it's not in one of the cards but i just kind of see like go on a hike go camping um take a ride to the desert go sit on the beach like anything that's going to get you out into nature by yourself so you're not distracted with anybody else because it feels like this whole by yourself by yourself by yourself like Except for this one card, the five of wands, every single one of these, we've got this person by themselves. And this last card where you're by or you, I say you because this is really you, is the sun card outside in nature, receiving those that sunlight, receiving that those downloads, those, see the, the light coming directly in. That is what's needed both in the day and at night. Look at this, the star and the sun here. 
really potent energies. I just feel like there's just been some confusion about what the incoming actually means and what your role to play in that. It's kind of like, <laughs> imagine a chef in a busy restaurant and he's the only one cooking and preparing and chopping and baking and, and boiling and sauteing and plating and doing all this stuff. Imagine one person doing all that stuff. This restaurant wouldn't last a day. So Mr. Chef Leo or Mrs. Chef Leo needs to let others do what they need to do and focus on yourself, not in a narcissistic way but in a self love kind of way to just let, you know, let things go in the day, let things go in the night and let yourself be guided to what's going to really set the stage for you moving forward because there is a lot coming through. All righty, Leo, thank you so much for being here. I wish you a beautiful rest of your mate. And now let's get into Virgo. So, Welcome, Virgo. I appreciate you being here. We're going to get into, first of all, Archangel Oracle. I'm going to shuffle the cards here, Virgo. And we'll get right into it. For you, Virgos. Okay. Oh, there's one. Ah, patience. Patience dropping out. Outdoors. I've been seeing a lot of that card lately. Really wanting people to get outside and spread your wings. So we have two Jophiel cards coming in back to back. Patience outdoors and then spread your wings with Ariel. I will show you the cards as soon as I'm done getting the Angels of Abundance Oracle for you. And then pulling some tarot. From the oh that one wanted to come detox your friendships oh interesting hmm. interesting and oh there's two cards there stuck together interesting razor promotion and power of prayer okay so patience with Jophiel. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience and outdoors. Go outside and get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. And then spread your wings with Ariel. Virgo, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. And then detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, gracious, and supportive. And then raise or promotion. Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Here, here. Not into that song. Um, power of prayer. Hmm. Power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you. To, 
sorry, let me start that over. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. That is a good one. Okay, and let's get into the tarot to get our messages here because I am definitely feeling feeling some feeling it coming in already but i want to get the tarot see what we get here okay and again welcome virgo thank you for being here One more. Okay. Six of Wands. The Moon. The World. The Ace of Swords. Queen of Wands. And Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, intense energies. <sighs> okay. So. It feels very in between here. Let me just pick up on what we got going on here. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is old life, new life. Like, you have like one foot here and one foot there. Um, and... It's like knowing that you need to move ahead. It's like you're you're a faster runner than all the other runners in the race and you're like you can move out further but because that is into the unknown or that is away from people and places that you're familiar with, you're like slowing down. If that makes sense. This detox your friendships is a big thing here um and it's like and it doesn't necessarily speak to there being like big time energy vampires but it's just more like who you're spending time with and what you're doing and i and, and the detox is really coming through like if it's about like what you do with these people like drinking um partying anything like that it's like like sorry to say but those types of activities are not going to help you raise your vibration and bring you to like your destiny of where you're meant to be um and you are look at these cards six of wands the moon and the world Bam, bam, bam here. Uh, it's like you, you're meant for to do bigger, to be like more out there. It's like, it's like that is definitely a thing. Whatever that might mean for you in your life. And I think that you don't even know what that means. But spread your wings is directly above of the world. So... <laughs> <coughs> that is a really big big one outdoors is directly above the moon and patience is directly above that six of wands 
We have the Ace of Swords directly below the Detox Your Friendships. And again, I just have to say, it kind of trips me out how these cards are lining up and the way that the colors are like matching. Look at this, raise or promotion. Oh, it's kind of hard to see the purple in the, wow, you can't see the purple barely at all in that Queen of Wands. That's interesting, but there's a lot at the top. There's a lot of this purple that's exactly like this Razor promotion. And look at that Queen of Wands. She's making magic happen. She is fiery and she is, and don't get caught up in genders, but this energy here, I mean, these are like, wow, <laughs> these cards six of wands the moon the world ace of wands queen of wands these are all really big cards um as far as as what were the energies coming through here i feel like there is a major shift here that is coming but again i'm feeling that like it's like when you go to get on an elevator, but you are like in that in between, it's like the elevator is not going to rise up until you get on it and then go. And it's like, yes, you'll have to leave the current floor that you're on, but you can't have it both ways. You just can't. And, and it feels like you're trying to make that happen. But there's people and circumstances and situations that you're still really connected to. Um, and that's just to, to be human, right? And also we have spread your wings. So it's also about being faithful that where you're being guided and what you're being guided to and what you feel inside is true is what you need to do it's not um a joke it's not any kind of trickery it's not any kind of anything else other than you being guided to your your destiny i don't know how else to put this here and seeds are being planted for you by your by your guides and guardians look at this power of prayer is right above this seven of pentacles so it's like you're it, it's like you want help you want guidance you are meditating you are praying and then the stuff is coming through the, the synchronicities the messages whether they're direct messages or they're just like things kind of lining up and getting in front of your face to show you a certain path but you're just like oh, is that is that right is that the way it's just like second guessing going on and really a kind of like what am i to be doing so whether it's making videos, writing, getting into healing modalities, um, really kind of recognizing your psychic abilities. I don't usually pick up on this with this card here, but it feels like that here. It feels like this is in, like those spotlights are incoming energies and, and that if you get into this energy, it will feel really good. But you have to have like patience is right above this card. Again, similar colors. We have that green wreath and the green here with the patience and just like all this peach. It's weird. <laughs> it's just so weird with these cards today. Um, have patience for your, with yourself in knowing and understanding what it is that's incoming. Because like people assume with me, like it's always been super clear and I've always been this like super psychic and master psychic or whatever and healer and all this stuff. And that's couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, I was giving messages when I was five years old to seven years old to roomfuls of people. But as a child, you're not thinking about it. You're just incoming and, and putting it out, incoming and putting it out. As we get older, we start to really like there's there's so much more energy from the years of our life whether it's 20 years or 40 years that that is in the way especially if we're not like clearing our energy or we're attached or have behaviors that keep our vibration low like eating meat like alcohol specifically those two things so that is a really a really big deal um for you to recognize that your whatever gifts that you have that you're aware of 
um, whether it's medium or being a medium, being a psychic, being a channeler, being a what we call a seer, somebody who can work with cards and understand the, the energies coming through them and the messages coming through them, whatever it is, or all of the above. Um, it's, it's a work in progress. It doesn't just, you know, happen and we're, we're all like clear. It takes time and patience and connecting with your guides and guardians with Gaia going into nature really really re being intentional about releasing energy detoxing your friendships so there's a lot about that but it feels like underneath it all like you you know that there's more to this life than where you've been so far and it's coming you're like in between the moon and the world and it's like everything incoming from both sides and it feels like it could be kind of overwhelming for you because there is so much incoming but don't let it overwhelm you and don't push it away don't put a block on it because there is so much magic coming for you and there is it's like the planting of the seeds of what needs to be done so your need to or the need for you i should say <clears throat> the need for you to um first off be patient with yourself in the process we are not omnipotent we don't know everything we can't foresee every little thing but we are in, in control of our perception, of our energy, of what we do in that regard and how we move forward. And really, it's kind of like this is saying like we really need to take things seriously and move away from ego and uh, if it's hurt feelings or circumstances that happened in the past that you're still connected to or there's people still in your world that you know you need to separate from or at least see lust not not listen to so much not go to for advice not be in a not be in an environment where it's toxic not you know it's like maybe let's say your friend matt you have a friend matt and you enjoy him you guys have a good time together you have a lot in common or you've known each other for a long time and when you're just hanging out with him it's really cool and and you guys can talk deep and stuff like that but then on friday nights it's let's go to the bar or let's go to a club or whatever and let's drink and let's party and then it's like it's not what feels good anymore um so maybe it's not leave matt it's just don't do that with matt anymore and tell him like i am just really trying to to uh be cleaner in my life and be in environments and around people and situations that are that are higher energy and vibration if he understands that kind of thing and and you know or whatever don't if you don't feel like it's the right thing to spell it all out then just work it so you're spending time with matt in an environment that is conducive for your frequency and see how that works um and it's also important to share with the people in your life where you're at and what's happening with you especially if you're growing spiritually or you're having a spiritual awakening and you're discovering a lot more about the world about, about the world about the moon about yourself and your place in it and and magic in the world and spiritual connections and your abilities as i feel like you have abilities you have healing psychic seer messenger type abilities and you c keep them close and not put them out and they need to go out it's important for them to go out so that's a big thing too it's like i'm hearing exposure is like overwhelming and scares you um to be out in the world in a certain way and i get that <laughs> trust me i do when i first started all of this the when my guidance came through and they're like you're gonna make youtube videos and you're gonna you know all of these things i was just like you literally really really have the wrong person i'm not any of that 
and then look at me. Yes, I am that. I just needed to grow into it. That was, it is my destiny to be a messenger, to be a healer, to put out information, to connect with people, to help people, to, to be that bridge between here and the other side and to help people get all that. But way back when, when this started to come through and filtered it into me, I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't like exposure. I like being ambiguous and, um, that's not the word. <laughs> um, anonymous. <laughs> Wrong A word. <laughs> I like being ambiguous. I like being anonymous. I like having I, what I would say is my quiet little piece of the world where no one enters and no one knows me and all of that good stuff. But deep down, I knew that's not like it. What's it is for me to be exposed and to expose myself in really raw ways. And I'm constantly pushed to that. And it is uncomfortable at first, but you do get used to it. It's like nobody's comfortable diving off a, you know, two story platform, you know, until you do it enough times. And then you're like, oh, it's no big deal. I can do this, no problem. But it takes a while to get there. And I feel like for you, it's like this the world the moon all this incoming energy and your power of of manifestation of prayer of communion communing communing thank you with the other side with your guides and guardians with with high level beings is definitely something you do maybe it's more subconscious or maybe it's just kind of fleeting here and there but that is something that's really meant to be uh, in your in your world in a part of your life and just be patient with the process as long as you're making adjustments every day to raise your vibration to let go to forgive to bring in new information to put things into practice to meditate seriously to do self-healing meditations lastly i would say what's really needed here that's coming through um would be to heal some energy that has to do with your past with your upbringing with the inner child business um and i have a, an amazing channeled guided astral meditation for self-healing for for healing the inner child and for integrating the inner child and that is going to help a lot and also of course cord cutting i don't know if i mentioned that earlier but this is coming through in almost every single one of these readings um if you haven't read my book yet on the importance of cord cutting and done any of the any cord cutting from the meditation that i channeled and not all cord cutting practices or meditations that you'll come across are created equal trust me the one that i channeled um is so powerful and so potent and so effective it'll blow your mind how good you feel afterwards and um so i i implore you to do that because you're definitely being guided to do that to really raise up your connections and awareness and to do that again we need to let go of our past of our you know stuff like that and lastly jophiel getting my attention here with outdoors if you can plan a a, a camping trip a hiking trip uh, uh rent an airbnb for a couple days at the beach um take a vacation go um s do something that's gonna completely change your environment put you in a totally new space and to connect with gaia to connect with the elements to feel the sun to feel the air to be near water or near mountains um, would be really, really good for you. Okay, dear Virgo, thank you so much for being here. I hope this helped. And again, of course, please reach out to me uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If there's anything I can do for you with my services, check out my website for all of that good stuff. Okay, thanks again, Virgo. Have a beautiful rest of your May. And now we are gonna get into Scorpio. Let's get into Scorpios, all right? I always get out of sorts here. No, Libra. See, I knew I was wrong. Libra. Libra and then Scorpio, right? Yeah. Okay. 
And my spirit sign is Libra. So. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I missed something. Okay, so. We're going to get into Libra now. Thank you so much for being here. And we're going to start off with the Archangel Oracle. So let's go there. Get a few cards here. Libra. Moon cycles. <laughs> wow. This card just can't come out enough. <laughs> Outdoors. Falling or flipping or me picking it. Outdoors is definitely a theme. Oh, and hello from heaven. Oh, I love it. Moon cycles, outdoors, and hello from heaven. I'll show you... Um, I can show you right now. Hello from heaven. Okay, we'll get into it more though. Then we're going to get into the angels of abundance. Get a few cards from angels of abundance for you, Libra. I'm going to take that. Clearing debts. Thought I had two cards there for a second. So clearing debts, oh, and release jealousy, just flipped out, and release resentments about money. So a couple things here for releasing. Okay, so moon cycles with Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Most definitely. Then outdoors, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Then hello from heaven with Archangel Azriel. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and let their... And feel their loving blessings. Next, clearing debts. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. Then release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Absolutely. And then release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, set, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. Been there, done that. Okay. <laughs> so... take these in for a moment and we're gonna move on to our tarot so we can get those messages and it's been really cool how the tarot are lining up with these archangel and angels of abundance like we'll see if it happens again but it's really been happening throughout these readings okay oh look at this business king of cups queen of cups ten of swords hmm dig it miss or mr libra the magician wowza
Queen of Pentacles. And let's get one more card here. Strength. So, wow. Let's start here. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. The Magician. Queen of Pentacles and strength. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so. So immediately what I'm seeing and feeling here is a balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine, especially on an emotional level with those cups, with that water. <clears throat> moving away, moving away from a past relationship that was less than ideal and getting in touch with that like higher level understanding and knowing manifestations and making things happen for yourself and uh this queen of cups to me in this um in this deck always points to gaia and connecting with gaia uh and then strength um so what i'm feeling here is that there is some new incoming energy with some something to balance out your your life really and this can be in the form of another person connecting to a person connecting to a new like a new way of thinking um i feel like you you're you've really been guided to wherever you are and whatever's coming these next couple of weeks that your your spiritual connections have been like big time for you uh and that you have been connecting more with the moon and the moon cycles and what that's all about. And we do this cycle between the uh, April 26th and May 26th is a super big important cycle of a lot of change coming in for some people. And I feel like whoever's watching this, Libra, you're definitely one of these people. And you're, you're one of these people who, excuse me, um... I'm hearing ready for a partnership, a friendship, a, a romance that is next level, high tier, very connected. Um, and that it's coming. We have, I'm seeing two infinity symbols here with the magician and with the strength card. So it's on her arm there. And then on his hoodie. And again, we have a feminine and, and a masculine, masculine energy here twice. With Gaia in the middle. So your connection, and when I say Gaia, it's this queen of pentacles. But I always feel Gaia really strongly with that queen of pentacles, particularly in this deck. And uh, so here's the caveat. We have clear debts, release jealousy, and release resentments of money. So there are still some energetic 
lower vibrational energies see all those birdies there like they need to fly away <laughs> in a lot of set in a in a, a lot of reads with this with this card here i feel like this is like you being guided by a uh, higher level uh like angels your guides whatever and i feel like that's true but i also feel like this is showing me like we are going to guide you away from these lower level energies that are gonna just prolong this process of you connecting with this person because it feels like i mean it, that's just what i'm getting here it's just this is a the cycle of of this soulmate relationship is is like coming back around again and i don't think you know this person in this lifetime before I think that you've had situations with people where you're like, oh my God, this person is like the one or or a, or my soulmate or whatever. First off, we need to understand we have many soulmates in this lifetime, in any lifetime. We have many soulmates. And I have an article that I'm going to turn into a book and it's going to be one of my one of my videos. It's um it's about soulmates and twin flames. It's on my medium channel or my medium profile on medium.com which is a big huge online publication of many many publications underneath of it if you're not familiar with medium.com please check it out and you can get to that from my the links in my um my website but anyhow um i don't feel like anything coming in is going is a like from the past i feel like it's new coming new person new relationships or people but they it feels very soul matey it feels very like oh we've been here before we've done this we've been some type of something to each other and on a soul based level frequencies are very um, it's like very intricate mechanisms that lock together and some lock deeper and stronger and tighter than others. This definitely feels like, wow. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean a romantic relationship. It means a deep soul mated type of relationship friendship partnership this kind of thing where there's a very good flow between the masculine and the feminine the dominant and the passive the protective and the nurturing there's that kind of thing as i tune in with this moon cycles energy as we know the moon affects earth and the polarity of the moon affects how the the elements on earth move it affects the ocean it affects waves it affects and we are water so the the pull it is a big thing for us and i'm doing this like because that's what i'm feeling here i'm feeling this like this rhythm that's that's the word there's this rhythm coming in and it's almost like the song is starting. It's like it's slow right now, but pretty soon it's going to be a beat and there's going to be a rhythm and there's going to be this like thing. It's like, I don't know how else to put it, but I got a rhythm here. That's what's coming through. And it is a very divinely guided situation that's going to help both of you. Um, really reach new levels of happiness, connectedness, adventure, like money, manifestations, just like all this positive business coming through with this. Um, again, we have the strength card. Strength is about unconditional love, not about brute force. It's about being in an emotional state of openness not fear, not closed off, but being able to allow for the flow and not imposing your your will 
in love, whether it's friendship love or, or romantic love or anything like that. Um, if you're already partnered up with somebody, then this would be like another person coming in, friend for both of you kind of thing, um, to really lift up everybody involved. But again, going back to release jealousy, release uh, resentments about money, that's about uh, manifestations, abundance, um, and this jealousy thing is kind of like... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling more like with this jealousy, it, it's more like, like hurt feelings of things not working out before, of friendships not, not working out, or ro romantic relationships not working out, and just being jealous of others having that and being like, I want that. What the, <laughs> what is up with me not being able to have that? And it's just because it takes time for everything to come into alignment. You know, I'm not the person I was a year ago, two years ago, five or 10 years ago. That's for damn sure. And neither is anybody else I'm going to be connected to. And for us to fit just right, we need to be in a certain place. And to, for that, like... And I know a lot of people go through this, like they want that romance, they want that connection, they want that friendship, they, they're they just like, oh, I need that in my life. And until I get that, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to experience this lifetime the way that I, I want to. And I get that. But if we're alone, whether romantically or with other partnerships or friendships, if we don't have that in our lives, it's because it's not time yet. We need, it's like, how can you meditate and be in per, introspective and work on yourself and healing and research and opening up and, and going through spiritual awakening and all that stuff if there's busy body business going on in your life? We really can't do both. This is why there's this thing called the dark night of the soul and the whole like hermit thing and hermit phase or phases that we go through because we need to be alone at times. We need transitional periods before other people come in. We need to release energies. We need to cut cords. So again, this has been a theme with all of these readings is the need to release 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 energy cut cords reset energy so please check out my book the importance of cord cutting and do those meditations do the inventory that comes with it and really get real about what's still connected and what are the roadblocks in the way of any of this coming through because the sooner you take care of this stuff for yourself, the sooner this stuff can come. It's just like taking rocks and, and uh, logs out of the dam so the water can flow. Until you do that, the water's there, but it's, in, it's waiting to move. It's waiting to flow through and clean out more and, and take you on, on the next phase. So there's, there's the need for that. And this hello from heaven is just really saying... If you feel like you're guided, if you feel like things have been synchronistic, if you've, if you've been seeing like n angel numbers and sequences of numbers, look them up. If you feel, if you wake up with like visions of stuff and then you go through your life and you're like, oh my God, that's what I saw in my dream or whatever. That's your guidance. Those are, there's your, your, your guides and guardians and who, whomever it may be of your spirit tribe that wants, that is connected to you and guiding you, you're definitely getting that. And it could be like sending you in directions that you're like, I never thought I'd do this, but this is what I'm doing. And it feels like, or this is what I'm being guided to do. And this is what I know I need to do or, or not do or whatever that like, go, like just go with that flow because this energy coming through, <clears throat> is really meant to get you on that connected with another person so you can maximize your energies. Look at how both of their eyes are closed. Look at that. The king and the queen of cups. They're both really connecting spiritually, meditating, bringing in the energies. Um, and that is what needed to happen. Like I always say this, it's like, if I'm doing stuff, if I'm working on stuff, 
then the partners that are meant to be in my world, they're doing stuff and they're working on stuff and they're healing. They're doing what they need to do. I'm doing what I need to do. We don't know each other yet, but we will. And then when we come together, we're like in a higher place of being. So we can release a lot of fears and triggers and doubts and judgments that we dealt with from the past from ourselves and others. So we can be in a new place. We can have this energy, this strength, this unconditional love to come through. And that is truly what it's all about. So clearing and releasing priority number one. If you can work on a high level with somebody like myself to really help you dig in and on a spiritual, energetic, and physical level level to really, like I, I like to call it like slice off the fat that's keeping you like lower vibrational or keeping the higher vibrational information from really permeating into your field, do it don't second guess it don't delay don't don't you know invest in yourself time and energy effort all of that stuff money to to allow for this new um the the like the nesting dolls i see this sometimes where you have to like you've got like the your your you've got a couple of layers that still need to come through so we need to release in order to be able to do that that's what i'm seeing here Aside from notice cycles, notice synchronicities, get in, get, if you're not already really in tune with the moon, um, get in tune with the moon. If you have not done my uh, channeled guided self-healing meditation with the, for the full moon this last month, please do it. It's one of my favorites that I've ever facilitated or channeled, I should say. Uh, that will help you a lot because it's a really healing, really healing meditation. Um, I absolutely loved it and it gets you connected with the fairies and the moon and Gaia and all of that stuff. So all those components <clears throat> are definitely here. And lastly, I just want to say... Um, be patient with yourself and your progress and with others and with time in general. It's like in certain ways time moves so quickly and in certain ways time moves really slowly because we're not getting outcomes that we want when we actually want them. But if we have faith that what we do, our intent to heal, to clear, to release, to connect, to do all of those things, we, ha we have faith that we are going to get put in a position to have those beautiful relationships and experiences and adventures and partnerships that we're meant to have when we're meant to have them. Oh, lovely, lovely. So Libra, thank you so much for being here. I hope that um, these messages resonate with you. Again, of course, please reach out if I can work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But otherwise, check out the podcast, check out my eBooks, check out the, the other um, videos that I have about Stargates and Empaths here on my YouTube channel that will help you clear and release. Alrighty, have a beautiful rest of your May, Libra. Now we are going to get, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, to Scorpio, right? Yes, Scorpio. So let's get to Scorpio. I need a drink. <coughs> hmm. Uh-oh. Sticky. <laughs> I didn't know my cup was sticky. Okay. Next up is Scorpio. Whoa. Okay, Scorpio, welcome, welcome to this space. So glad you were guided here to join me for this reading. I really appreciate it. But if you haven't checked out your May full reading or done any of the pick a cards uh, that I've done, pick a crystal or uh, pick, pick a geometric shape, I highly suggest that you do that as well. But of course, those those pick a, pick a readings are timeless. You can do those at any time. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> 
All right, let's get to it, Scorpio. Clairvoyance. Victory. Oh. And spiritual understanding. I will show you all these cards in just a moment, but we're going to get into pulling the Angels of Abundance cards first. <clears throat> Wow, that's come out a few times. Pay yourself first. Release jealousy. And obstacles and blocks are lifted. Definitely seen a few of these cards a couple of times. So let's start over here. Clairvoyance with Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And then we have victory with Sandal Fawn. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, Scorpio. And spiritual understanding with Raziel again. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truths. Huh. Interesting. And pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Then we have release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly what you affirm, which means if you are... In a, in a state of feeling like you're in lack, you're going to get more to feel that because that's where you're at. It's kind of how that works. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. And obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay, I love that card. All right, so before we I delve in there, I want to get some tarot. So let's do that right quick get into some tarot here see what we get i am definitely picking up on stuff here first off but of course we're gonna get some tarot scorpio Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. We're going to go from the top here. The Devil, the, ha uh, the Hermit, and Ace of Cups. And a few of these are in reverse. So I am going to check in. Okay, so Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, 
three of cups in reverse, the devil, the hermit, and ace of cups. So, So Raziel's coming through here pretty strongly with these two cards, clairvoyance and spiritual understanding, really wanting to help you see things from a higher perspective and, and Sandalfon's in the middle of those two cards with victory and your prayers have been heard and answered, have faith. I feel like there's just like getting over something and getting that like higher level insight to allow yourself to see things from a much higher perspective. It's like if you can imagine that she's on a like at the edge of a cliff and looking out over a vista and her her perspective is higher than being on, you know, the flatlands down below. I've actually never seen that card that way, but that's what I'm being guided to now. So she's being led. Um, and what's interesting is that her eyes are closed. So even though it's kind of hard to see, but even though she's up on this cliff and she has this, whoops, <laughs> sorry, has this higher perspective that she, she's still like, clothes are, are definitely pointing to a couple of things number one it's like i don't want to i i'm kind of stuck seeing what i want to see and number two is but i am getting this higher level awareness coming through that maybe my perspective up till now has not seen everything like see look at these two different cards look at these cards and how different they are So eyes are open, confused, can't see, but then eyes closed and clearly getting a lot more from having her eyes closed, which is so interesting and so true. We need to close our eyes to meditate and that's where we get our higher perspective. So I feel like you're being pushed in a direction to connect on a much deeper level um, and this three of cups in reverse is really interesting because that's it right side up, but it is in reverse. And I keep checking in to make sure and it's like, nope, it's in reverse. And it's right below and it's really interesting, again, how these cards are lining up with the colors, but they are in these readings a lot. Um, <laughs> and this three of cups in reverse. Now this three of cups is like, uh, partnerships and friendships and and all of that like as you can see you know clearly there's the three of them all together but it feels here like because it's in reverse it's showing me that you, that there was some really big um there was some situation that like really went south and caused a big shake up in your world um, emotionally mostly and you've been wondering like what do I do I what do I need to to do to get out of this mucky hole kind of thing there's definitely been illusions that you've entertained with this devil card um and the hermit is showing that you've spent time thinking a lot but you're kind of in a loop and raziel's coming through to like wants to take you out of just like replaying stuff and into a new understanding to be led like he's showing me this dove it's like follow the dove follow follow the the faith and and if you feel like you've made mistakes if you feel like you've transgressed if you feel like you've harmed others in whatever way follow your guidance for 
uh, as far as what to do about clearing out that energy. It may be contacting other people to make amends, to say you're sorry. It may just be you, um, we got this guidance earlier, writing, writing it out, writing out the story of what happened, writing out your feelings. Nobody else is going to see this except for you. And then burn it. And if you could do, like, set yourself up to do that for the new moon. Sorry, for the full moon coming up on the 26th, that would be great. Or whenever you're guided to do it. Because there's definitely this releasing, um, there's release jealousy here. And obstacles and blocks are lifted. So it's like, and that's the last card here. And it's right above, again, like I told you about colors coming through. Very, very thematic in these readings um, with this blue. It's kind of not coming through as clearly over on the camera as it is here in real life. But... I think you can kind of see the idea here. The blue here is just much more potent, but it's just kind of not showing you that. But anyway. <sighs> there is a great need to release some hurt. To release kind of this, like you got yourself into a spiral and that needs to, to go. It needs to go. You need to release that. And you need to invest your time, energy, and effort into releasing that. I feel like a broken record with these readings because they've been similar in their different ways. But that it is really necessary for you to cut cords, to energy heal, to do whatever needs to be done to get that higher perspective again. Because it's there for you. It's just kind of like picky and choosy about what you want to believe or have faith in or understand or reject or deny or accept. And it kind of doesn't work that way with guidance. It's, it's not like you, it's your spiritual guidance coming through from archangels, from your guides and guardians, from your ancestors or spirit guides, what, however you want to see them in different ways and whoever you may feel connected to, could be a, a loved one that crossed over, it could be an archangel, it could be your own guardian angel, which is I highly recommend. It's time to open up that channel of energy by connecting with your guardian angel. And I have a meditation for that. It's called Body Love and meet your guardian angel. And if you already have a relationship with your guardian angel, this is only going to make it stronger. Um, it's a beautiful meditation. And you can find that on my podcast. You can find that on my YouTube channel. Like I said, it's called Body Love and uh, meet your guardian angel because you need that connection to, to get stronger. So you can kind of fall away from doubt about what you're receiving so you can move forward because I feel like you're just like there's like questions what do I do what don't I do how you know these different things and and that will help you a lot this pay yourself first card is speaking to investing it's take it for what it is save all that good stuff but the underlying message here is about investing in your health your wellness so if this means hiring um or 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 finding a a spiritual guide a healer a shaman like myself awesome if you're guided to go on a retreat do a meditation retreat go on a vacation get away from the current space that you're in awesome do that whatever you're guided to do because spiritual understanding clairvoyance pay yourself first are, sh are saying use this time and you put your energy into instead of reliving and rehashing the past and and all that it's about moving forward and clearing out the energies that are still attached to you bringing that energy back in and doing what you need to do to release yourself from the traps that you're in right now from letting go and this devil card i love this devil card because he's because he is like there you are stuck in your shit and he is coming through to me he's like the 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 
the angel coming through the way I see this. He's like the our guardian angel coming through to say, let me guide you away from the shit in your head that's keeping you in this loop and not allowing you to move forward because you're clearly being guided but you're also with obstacles and blocks are lifted like you need to make a very specific and conscious choice to follow that guidance to get heart centered to live in a state of forgiveness instead of judgment instead of um judgment for yourself and judgment for others like harsh like the harsh emotions, the harsh feelings need to be replaced by love and forgiveness and connectedness to your spirit, to your soul, to your guides. And then this energy can flip and you, because right now, remember, it's like this. So this energy can flip. Everybody needs people, needs other people is what I'm hearing. And whatever happened to shake your shit up and to leave you just kind of turned inside out from your perception of a situation or what others may have done or not done and what you may have done or not done and just like it's like a getting caught up in the riptide of energy sometimes that happens and we just have to let it go and move on and see what it is and just take it for what it is feel what we feel and allow for the healing energies allow for our soul allow for the um the love from our guides to to help us moving forward so we can feel safe and secure and happy um again and this hermit card and what I'm hearing with that is there is a time that this is very important, important. This, this energy of the hermit is very important. Um, but the hermit is about going within, not just going inside, but going within, meditating, contemplating, writing stuff out, um, reading and watching videos or, or documentaries or whatever that is going to open you up let you open it's like i feel very closed and then open so openness is what needs to happen here and again spiritual understanding with raziel i'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truths so a lot of times what we perceive what we think we know what we see and we take in and we decide a situation or people or whatever is the way that it is isn't always the way that it is it's just from our, our perspective that's what we see so that's what we react from but then when we move into this perspective and see it from this angle we're like oh I see things differently now hmm, I didn't have that angle before and that's kind of what is happening right now it's like you're being led to have different perspectives about yourself past situations and how to move forward uh, so what will help you a lot is allowing for your spiritual guides, whether it's um, on the other side or this side of the veil, to help help you and how you're going to release, how you're going to, um, this, this talks about obstacles and blocks are lifted. And what I'm seeing with that is like, whatever happened because it feels like it was an event or a series of event with a certain somebody or yourself kind of over and over kind of reliving the same thing played out again and again and this spirit this um obstacles and blocks are lifted is saying you're able to see what has blocked you before and now you have the opportunity to take care of those things, to move them, remove them, release them, detach from them, bring in new energies into your field, into your body, so you can have that higher perspective and understand things from, from a greater vantage point. And from there, it's you know ace of ace of cups it's like that heart centered that like deep down who you are spiritual person can really come out and blossom and bloom the way you're meant to because you have um 
done the work to get out of your own way to keep to to let yourself expand into truly the person you're supposed to be and it doesn't matter what happened before how old you are what you what you've done every day is a new day to start fresh that's the beauty of this life we're not locked in we can change we can change and we when we want to and when we put forth the effort to do it is when things really happen so again invest your time energy effort and money into the things that will help you if it's a massage if it's a reiki session again if it's uh, a crystal if it's like whatever it may be that's going to help you release energy and move you forward do it don't put it off don't think like oh i gotta i have to save all my money or i can't spend on this or i can't do that or there isn't time or there isn't energy or there isn't whatever like it's like stop making excuses because nobody is going to come in and do it for you for us to heal to release to be in flow to be connected with our souls in the way that we're meant to we need to do the work for ourselves first and foremost it's like yeah sure i'm a healer i'm a channeler i'm a guide i'm an ascension coach And I can do all this stuff for you, but you have to make the decision to start that ball rolling because I just can't pop up in your world and be like, we're going to do this. All right, pay up and let's get going. Like It just doesn't work that way. And even for the people who do come and find me and start to, you know, delve into that sort of thing, there's still a lot of work for them to do before I ever get to, to the place to help them personally so so i'm just leaving you with that because it's like if you're like okay something's gonna happen and everything is gonna shift and change and i'm gonna be like in a totally new and you're just waking up every day going nope i feel the same nope i feel the same nope i feel the same not today not today not today it's because like what are you doing to change it what has changed it within you what have you done where's your progress where's your energy focused on what are you doing to, to wake up tomorrow and want to feel differently. And as soon as you start to push that ball in that direction, it's going to build momentum and create, again, obstacles and blocks are lifted. But you have to do it for yourself. It's not just going to magically happen. This is telling you, you can have this. You can wake up and have a different disposition. And it's up to you as to when that's going to happen. So these messages are coming to you now saying this is the time to start getting that going. Okay, lovely Scorpio. I hope you take and receive these messages with the love that is meant for you. I wish you a beautiful rest of your May and beyond in 2021, of course. Again, of course, go to my website, check out um, my meditations, my ebooks, and of course my services to see if and how I can help you personally. And again, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, so next. Sagittarius is next. Uh, My sun sign. And for you, Sagittarius, welcome, welcome, welcome to this reading for you. I really appreciate you being here. Hope you've had a great first part of May so far. Time is flying as usual. So let's see what we get for you, Sagittarius. Cool. No, I'm putting those back. Doing some more shuffling. All right. First, oh, the side. Oh, here we go. First card, nurture with Archangel Gabriel. I'll get into the details. Oop, next card, spiritual understanding with Raziel. And divine order with Raguel. Okay, awesome. Now, Let's get into the Angels of Abundance Oracle and see what else we get. The 
those were stuck together last time. I'm putting them back just because one of those, there's two cars that were stuck together. I'm pretty sure those are the two cars. And I took them, oh. <laughs> Razor Promotion definitely wanted to come out. So there we go, Razor Promotion. I love it. And these, these cards as well. Okay, funny. Obstacles and blocks are lifted and release resentments about money okay that's so funny i'm like razor promotion we just got that was a card stuck to another card and that's not the card we need and then it falls out again it's like yep and that's what i always think it's like if i'm like what is this really and i'll put it back if it's meant to come out it will come out and that was a perfect example so let's start here from the top nurture with archangel gabriel as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now and spiritual understanding with raziel i am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths sacred geometry there and divine order i love this card so much with Ragul, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Always good advice. Raise or promotion. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Yes love it and obstacles and blocks are lifted all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues and next release resentments about money Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Okay. Alrighty. Before I get into all that, I'm going to get some tarot and then we'll get the read. Alrighty, let's do it, Sagittarius. Fellow Sagittarians, whether you're this is your sun, moon, or rising, or if you're a cross watcher and checking in. Welcome, welcome. First card out is Page of Cups. Next that fell, the Hermit. Cool. Death. Four of Cups and Nine of Wands. Okay. Let me show you what we got here. Page of Cups. The Hermit. The fool the death card four of cups and nine of wands all righty so i feel like okay a couple things are, are going on here number one with this nurture card with archangel gabriel i feel like uh 
more balance needs to happen with your inner child, like your your like the passions as a child. Um, and what I'm feeling here is definitely things of artistic nature, expression, so song, writing, painting, drawing, dancing, singing, like anything like that that you enjoyed, um, or whether or it could be, you know, you you're really into rock climbing and you haven't done it in 20 years then and you've been thinking about it or whatever that that's something whatever it is it's like it's really time to tap in with the inner child <clears throat> inner child energies um and so there's that also i'm feeling with this is that it is like true that you are somebody that really um, connects with children and children really like you and they they feel differently about you than than about most adults and that um whether you there feels like there's some opportunity to, to to connect with children in a different way um or a new way or new children coming in something like something like that um so there's that But I definitely feel there's a there's a big sense of newness here with this fool and the death and rebirth card. And they're right next to each other, which is really interested, interesting. And they're being bookended by the hermit and this four of cups. spiritual understanding is right above the hermit so it's like what i'm what i'm hearing with that it's like your time of going within of contemplation of of not being open to like everybody has been a good thing for you that you've needed that time uh, it's been very important to you to 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 be introspective to go within and maybe a lot of progress happened during the pandemic when there was a lot less interaction and contact with other people. Um, and that maybe at first for you it was really difficult, but that you've taken, you took the opportunity to, to really see how she's like floating there to really raise in your awareness in your, in your, uh, perspective. There's a lot of that going on here. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on here with these cards. It's pretty funny. I'm just going to show you just these three here that are the most obvious. Um, the Fool, the Hermit, and this Page of Cups. Look at, he's like, wait, what's that from up above? I always see this Page of Cups, especially in this, in this deck here, as us being connected to guided by our higher selves or souls or guidance or who, who or however you want to see that or feel that that that's definitely the case here um but i am feeling strong specifically archangel gabriel energy so if you're someone who is uh or who has or feels a connection with gabriel this is definitely like that energy coming through to guide you towards uh, connect, reconnecting with your own inner child, reconnecting and connecting with children in general are really a, a big deal with you. Maybe in the past you've even been an instructor or a teacher in some in some way um, and that, you know, being around children just really lights you up and it's this back and forth thing so and it's not clear if like w what the actual deal is with that but i feel like the energy of of kids and children are like coming in closer to you so if it's not right now just be open to that energy coming in the future uh But that there is definitely a new beginning. You see my big smile. 
we have divine order here with everything is is it how it needs to be right now uh look past any illusion that is like not like exactly how you would want it but no the fool and the death card coming out so death and rebirth look at that it's not it's both death and death equals rebirth endings equal beginnings so some things are ending some things are beginning and it's very positive you see this big smile on my face that i can't stop because this energy and this death and rebirth card is right under the raise or promotion card and and right um and in here too is release resentments about money uh and if you've struggled financially, if the flow of money hasn't been there, if resources haven't been there in the past, you are letting, we're letting you know right now, obstacles and blocks are being lifted. A new beginning is coming. Do not doubt that you'll have more than enough, that, that it's just like, I feel like a, a tsunami of abundance financially and in other ways too. Raise or promotion, that is here as well. Raise or promotion, that definitely that's coming. But the only thing standing in your way is any resentments about money, anything from the past or some, some, I want to say dumbass, some dumbass reason you got in your, or, uh, uh, idea that you have in your head that you're meant to struggle that things are just going to be difficult for you financially that you're just not meant to to have um that you're meant to live uh in lack is utter bullshit and to let that go that's programming and you have let's let's let that die like let's let that die kill that idea because it's not true it's had you in this where you're just like you see how this works she has four cups here that are empty or nearly empty and then she and then she's looking off into the distance over here bummed out about her empty or nearly empty uh cups and and you could tell she's worried like What's going to happen? What am I going to do? Like, how's this going to be? But then look at, look at that flowing cup. Look at that hand coming in. And she can't even see it. And look at all the energy coming from it. So abundant. So happy. So much, so much energy there. And she's just like, Whoa! and here it is. So it's like, until we release, and it's so funny because it's right below this release re resentments about money it's like then we can see this cup then we'll like turn around and go oh my god look at this big cup and it's like ah and everything is there for you so it's like and and this one here is um this is about feeling secure having what you need feeling um abundant all the way around you and also seeing from a higher perspective this card always gives me that energy but this is just about let's <laughs> let's put on our new shoes is what I'm hearing and get going on a new path because it is coming like release the old release the past release um friction and and uh static of what didn't work before or what were pitfalls or what were difficult things because if we're really being honest about it haven't you been okay the whole time maybe the whole time there there hasn't it hasn't been smooth and maybe you know these little acts and of miracles have come in to save the day over and over again when you're just like hanging on by a thread sort of thing trust me i get it but this is really talking about like that was then and you needed to go through that because you needed to see how these little acts and miracles came through as you were hanging on by a thread and your faith had a lot to do with it. It's like you may have been like scared or frightened a, a few times in the process, but because you you still like believed that everything was going to be okay regardless of you know you being chest high and a bunch of shit you you did get pulled out and you were okay and and you saw you're like huh 
it did happen. <clears throat> and you also were like, maybe if you recognize, like, I didn't spiral. And look at what happened. I didn't freak out. I didn't, I didn't react. I wasn't triggered in these in these free fall kind of oh, what's going to happen kind of ways, no matter what. And, and it was okay. You did have those higher spiritual connections and understanding to know it's a process. And you're going from somebody who's been struggling and been in lack or been alone or had a lot of loss or been abandoned in different ways and all of, you know, any of that stuff. And you kept on doing this, I feel. This isn't a new place for you. This falling into a new a new dimension. Being that fool. I love the fool card so, so much. And the only thing I love better than the fool card is the fool card with the death card. And these two, this is my smile, these two coming in next to each other. They're just not in the same read. They're literally right next to each other. And we have divine order, razor promotion, and obstacles and blocks are lifted. Release resentments about money. So if you struggled in the past, just be like, yep, struggled in the past. And what did I do? I, I survived. I thrived no matter what. I was, I was okay. Ultimately, maybe it wasn't easy. Maybe it wasn't fun. Maybe I had to go without. Maybe I had to change some stuff and, and, and adjust. And, but all of whatever that you've done you've been guided you've been there has been divine order to it and underneath it all you know that to be true Sagittarius and you're ready to let go of this not be this person anymore it's like that's done I'm I'm not at the mercy of of energies in my universe that aren't supported supporting me so if you feel attacked if you feel rejected if you feel abandoned if those things happen and those things are real just know they made those situations only made you stronger only made you ha have to dig deeper and have that 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 fortitude to really just know, be like, no, I'm in faith here. I know it. I know it. I know it because it's true and it has been. And that is really the deal here. If there's anything that needs to happen is just um, releasing faith any more fears that you have about money or lack and there's a meditation a channeled guided astral self-healing meditation that i facilitated a couple months ago that was for exactly that healing our healing our abundance and um or working with abundance i can't remember exactly how i put it but healing the money wound it's one of my more popular ones because it is so potent it is so um effective in helping you disengage from the money wound and literally most people have some form of money wound whether we came into this lifetime with it and this lifetime just you know kept us in that loop of needing to understand it and relive it or we came into this into this world and in, in poverty or in lack and that's just what we knew um whether we've had and we didn't have have and we didn't have have and we didn't have it's time to raise that up and stay at that station because we don't need to relive over and over again not having and for those of us that that do have kind of a different perspective on money or maybe in the past you know you've said i hate money i know that i used to say that a lot i never say that it's been years since i've said that but i used to really live in that in that station of hating money because i really because it was kind of the root of all of the shit in my life that I couldn't, that it's like when you don't have money or when you're, I was sick, I couldn't work, I didn't have money, it was really hard or my whole life shifted and everything, the bottom fell out and I had nothing from what I had to how I had money before disappeared and I had to, you know, figure it out again or I was sent on a spiritual path where every bit of 
coin that I had from my previous life needed to go and not have that energy anymore and bring in new energy from a new resource or resources. I've been through that too. So I get it. But we have to see money as like what she says here. It's a tool. It's a tool to to use to better our lives and to help other people with the resources that we have. Once that hit me in the right moment on the right day when the stars and the moon and the universe aligned in a perfect in a perfect um, line and who knows what that looked like. And it hit me like, cause I was like, I, I'm a simple person. I'm not materialistic. I don't need a lot. I shop at thrift stores. I, I don't need like, I was in this whole like, you know, this vow of poverty. Like I know I was a nun or a priestess or whatever. And we're not meant to have, you know, your own stuff and your own money. You're meant to live in lack and live from a place of, of abundance in different ways when you're, when you have that, those type of lives, but we can come into this life still having that energy attached to us and being like rejecting, even though we're like, I need money. The underlying current of energy within your energy field on a molecular level within your cells is saying, F money. I don't want it. I don't need it. It sucks. It's the root of all evil and da 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 and all this stuff. There's a story that comes with money is the same story that comes with love. And both money and love get a really bad rap when they're just, they're pure energy. It's what we do with money. It's how we perceive love that gets us all screwed in the head. <laughs> so for myself... Once I got that download, like, yes, you need more money because you have things to do with it. You want to build and create and give to the world. And that takes money, a lot of it. It's just the way that this reality works. So you need to be accepting of the money coming to you. Don't see money as something you hate. See it as something you love, as a tool to better yourself and others. And once that really hit me I was like oh my god that is so true what have I been doing it's like the same thing where you go f love and love sucks and love hurts but I want love why doesn't anybody love me it's because you need to be shown time and time again that you, the idea that you have about love is the true one and that's what you'll get. So if you have resentments about money, if you have resentments about love, you're going to perpetuate that type of story coming in until you shift it and go, love is amazing. Love is great. Oh my gosh, to be in union with somebody, to have that deep connection spiritually and sexually and intimacy and all of these things. And there is, there is, there's so many instances of beautiful love in the world, but we tend to see, to make love the bad guy, make money the bad guy, neither of which are true. <laughs> And once we really get that, we'll be able to be like, oh, raise, promotion, more money, more opportunities, more, more, more. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Because look at these two cards right next to each other. Divine order and raise or promotion. So whatever has happened up until now has happened because it needed to happen. We needed to see a certain shade and now we're going to see new shades coming in because we've done a lot of work to shift ourselves out and mold ourselves into something else, something from what we were before. And that is the whole death and rebirth. The You see, this person doesn't even have a, a physical identity. It's energy and nature and stars and light and and trees and all of these things and that is saying we always get the opportunity to birth ourselves into something we don't even know what that looks like trust me been there done that i used to be poor chronically sick totally depressed and suicidal and the last thing I would have thought was that people were gonna pay me money and good money to help them because I'm a healer and it's like 
but I am a healer and I, I was I was sick because I am a medical medium and a natural healer and all my life I've been healing accidentally and unintentionally and it made me sick but the fact of the matter is I'm made I've been put on this earth to deliver messages to help people ascend to heal them to do all of these things and once i stepped into that new that birth and rebirth business and i and everything shifted and changed but it's been like 10 years and it so it didn't all boom happen overnight it was a process and it's still a process like i'm not done by any shape or stretch of the imagination i mean and i'm happy about that like the the process of our evolution is ongoing and ever and ever changing and infinite which always brings me a lot of comfort because it's like no there's no, there's no such thing as the end as a finish line the death and rebirth is only talking about shifting and transmuting energies shifting from the old into the new deconstructing the old building the new and we do that for ourselves if we decide that, that that's what you know what, what when it's time to do it and everything here is is coming through to say there is energy that is pushing you through this portal of of blocks and being held back and not having everything that you need all you have to do is step through it do the work that needs to be done to release the the strings that pull that are still connected if they're there you'll know what is connected to and it could be past life stuff like for me i recognized a few months a couple months ago like oh wow my this whole story of of lack and abandonment and all of that stuff stems from a lifetime hundreds and hundreds of years ago for looking at stuff linearly and how that affected everything from that point forward and up until this lifetime for me to heal so sometimes it's not necessarily like things that even happened in this lifetime like we come into this lifetime with a certain set of circumstances that are meant to be healed in this lifetime we get chances over and over and over again to clear and heal our energy so <clears throat> with that said again where it's about being in faith, nurturing the inner child, healing the, the past, the energy. So however you're guided to do that. And again, I have a lot of meditations on my podcast and my YouTube channel to help with that. Um, and I would start with uh, the full moon meditation from April is a timeless meditation. I encourage you to do that if you haven't. The abundance and healing the money mood. I would definitely get on that. And also the one for fear, shame, guilt, and money, love, resent, like for like all, it's a really all encompassing, very deep um, self healing channeled meditation. I highly recommend. And um, definitely cutting cords to anything, any experience, any person, any situation in your life that that is connected with lack. Because that really feels like that is a big thing here um, with the money thing and with moving forward. Because there is a lot just ready. It's like I'm seeing not I'm not like that's weird because I don't usually see this kind of thing. But. Not that I'm promoting gambling or anything, but it's like that one coin in the slot machine and it's like, boom, it's all going to fall. But it takes your energy to drop that coin and your energy to pull that lever and to just let things roll. And then everything is going to just come in for, for you. So... There you go, lovely Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thanks for being here. Uh, please uh, have a beautiful rest of your May. Do what you need to do to clear out energy for yourself coming up because it is coming more greater insight, more greater abundance, more greater connections are definitely coming for you in a really, really high vibrational way. So now we're getting into Capricorn. So let's get into Capricorn here. Last but not least, Capricorn, thank you for being here. 
these readings have been really really great very much on the the theme of you know what to heal and all that good stuff so thanks for being here without further ado let's get into it lovely capricorn again moon cycles coming up that card's come up a few times whoa 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 relationship harmony and divine order again been seeing that card a few times and angels of abundance let's see what we get from angels of abundance that is my cat on her scratcher no more complaining Okay. Have courage to ask for and accept help. And block out distractions. So we have moon cycles with Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles relationship harmony with raguel we angels are opening up the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts are being resolved now awesome divine order everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlying order and no more complaining Complaints are affirmation of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. And have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. And last but not least here, block out distractions. Did I show you this card? Sorry, if I didn't show you this card. That is have courage to ask for and accept help. And block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take ch charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okie dokie. So let's get some tarot. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Let's get some tarot here. And again, thank you for being here, Capricorn. I hope you've had a great first part of May. And that the second part will be even better. Okay. Let's see. Ace of Swords coming out first. Oh, what was that card? That card got my attention. Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Wow. There we go. Okay. So we have Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands in reverse. I'll just make sure here in a second if they need just if that's staying in reverse. We have Knight of Pentacles, the Strength card, 
the three of cups, but it came out in reverse. So I'm gonna check and make sure that that stays that way. And then two of cups. So let me tap in here. Okay, so both of these are going straight up. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that it feels here like there's definitely, no, don't, don't think about it. My cat was about to jump on my, <laughs> cats. Um, <laughs> that little like butt wiggle when they're like ready to launch. It's like, where do you think you're going? Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. It feels to me like there has been some disharmony in relationships for sure we have relationship harmony and that five of wands directly underneath of it and also inner conflict about relationships and how to to deal with relationships how to approach them or how to rectify them what how to deal with people has also been questioned for you and for the most part, you're, it feels like you've been kind of passive, kind of like just taking the incoming and, and trying, to, trying to deal with this on a higher level. We do have divine order. And so it feels like on a certain level, you get that and... No more complaining. No more complaining is really coming through like more like. It, it's more like. Let me try to get this straight here. What's coming in. Oh, I'm deaf. I'm yawning because there's stuff coming in. Um. It's kind of like what what this what this is telling me is more like seeing the full picture cuz complaining is victimhood like she says here. And I'm seeing this no more complaining like you recognize you beginning or starting to or have been I should say recognizing your part in the dynamic of whatever this relationship or relationships kind of feels like more than one and why it's not exactly the way what you would say is ideal or the way you would want it to be that there has been conflict like at the core of what you're dealing with here is relating to and dealing with and having other people in your life and having to deal with personalities and people or shiftings of shifting of energy that sort of thing But what's interesting is that this strength card is directly below that no more complaining. So it's really about going within and seeing things um, more on a soul-based level. And we do have divine order here. And relationship harmony, this relationship harmony card coming in with this five of wands, I find very interesting because it feels like there's inner conflict about what you should do. So it's almost like your relationship with yourself, like you're in conflict or been in conflict with how to handle or what to do. Um, and
But there's definitely like this whole thing here with this two of cups and this three of cups. This feels very outer and inner to me. But the last card here is block out distractions. And so I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of progress because things have been kind of chaotic and distracting and it's like i gotta do this i gotta do this and and capricorn you tend to be very hyper focused and very goal oriented so it's like push this aside push this aside i'm doing this i'm doing this i'm doing this like that literal like ram energy like going 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 like hitting your head against the wall like i'm gonna break through this wall and being so almost overly steadfast in that energy to where it's difficult to see the incoming and to really let it integrate um, with you. So there is a need to readjust your energy, your schedule, your priorities. Um, this two of cups i really feel like with this energy here this is more about connecting with you, your soul and and what what's all going on on the inside because i feel like there's definitely conflict here on the outside and the inside but it feels like there's more conflict like even on the inside about how to do how to handle how to approach how to let go how like any of that stuff so first and foremost what i would say is if whether or not let me start there whether or not you have a relationship with your guides and guardians that it needs to be reset reestablished stronger and all of that so i would suggest the meditation that i have for body love and connecting with your guardian angel i would do that one and also any and all cord cutting that needs to happen with people from your past whether they're still in your life now or they're gone and that's it that cord cutting really does need to happen because it feels like there's just this pinging action going on be, and it's not releasing because there's more to the story and maybe the, the maybe the more part of the story is you understanding that those connections need to be reset or cut um so you can't so that gets rid of distractions too that will help you be get more clear um and that this inner and outer world this higher self and yourself can come together and bring into the world you know the full capacity of what you have here and uh coming from a place of love uh because it because it feels like i'm hearing one man show like and this could be narcissistic tendencies. I'm most narcissists won't listen to me, but <laughs> this could be something with having some some like narcissistic tendencies about like what you're doing and how you're doing it and what that sort of thing with this Knight of Pentacles. That's interesting because it feels like Like that nothing is getting in my way and I'm going kind of energy is great, but it can also be very distracting and it could be a problem for, for healing and moving forward because you see how all this stuff is chasing him. Normally this would be great. Like, oh, look at all the money following you around. In this sense, this is more like, look at all this energy that you're carrying around <laughs> and understand how when you live from that state of being that it's hard to see the underlying divine order sometimes because there's a lot of static and friction in the way and we're also trying to escape what didn't feel good but in order to really come into a sense of balance and in this event in this card right now the way that i'm seeing this is like 
your th those three very important aspects of self so body mind spirit body mind soul and in order to do that you need to see that it's not just you it's not just the personality or the ego that there's way more to it and what's in between those two cards the strength card it's about unconditional love and seeing things from a point of view that is out of ego that is out of narcissism that is out of con not in when i say out of control that is without that need to control um and to work to work with the energy of the moon and another assignment that I would have for you would be to do the the last full moon meditation that I did. I thought I was going to do one for the Stargate, but every time I checked in, it was like, yeah, later. <laughs> okay. So the full moon meditation for April is the last one that I that I did um, for, you know, the masses. And it was extremely amazing, super healing. And I highly suggest that because we work with the Fae in that, with the fairies in, in that, very specifically, the fairy realm has been coming through super strongly lately. And so they that meditation and those, what's all in, incorporated and encompassed in that meditation will really help you um, on the inner and the outer. And of course, cord cutting, again, very important. Connecting with your, your guardian angel. And really, it's just, I'm really feeling this, like, the perspective needs to rise. You're like, I'm seeing from my eyeballs, which is great and human. We have eyeballs to see with. But seeing with that inner and third eye is really where it's at. And that's where this comes in, is like, and, and I know that you have this and it's there. It's kind of like switching channels though. It's like you have it for certain things, but you need to switch channels to get it to incoming for other things. So you can really get the downloads of what's coming in and see that the, again, this relationship harmony is a lot of this is with yourself because it feels like there's conflict within like, what's going on on the inside of what you know the past the present and the future and if you allow for like the moon the moon cycles and the incoming energy from your divine counterparts to really come in and for you to just receive that the answers will come and like that help have the courage to ask for and accept help and in this situation i really feel like this is more ethereal this is more spiritual in nature than really help with people in the world <laughs> like living people and you need to block out distractions and create a space and a time for yourself to do this so if that means going on a vacation renting an airbnb going on a medit on a retreat, um, booking healing with somebody like me, really taking shit to the next level, so be it. Do it. Because there's this stuckness that needs to go. So you can see things clearly. And this really needs to be um, initiated by you with you clearing the space to do it with you ha with you taking the certain money to make it happen with you um creating the space to make it happen so those things are are really in need and you have it's like it's it's waiting it's there but you need to you need to make that happen um let me see is there anything else here And ultimately, the last thing I'm hearing here is with divine order is know that we can judge ourselves and our actions and whether we've been deceitful, whether we've lied, whether we've avoided, whether we've been in denial, whether we've cheated, whether any of those whatever things that we can do. The only way to 
move on from that is to just accept that everything does happen for a reason and and our own expression in the world and how we are um how we react and what we do to the to whatever circumstances we're dealing with is just where we're at at any given time and to judge that infinitely in wherever new place that we're at only serves to keep us from moving forward into a new station so we can't keep like getting down on ourselves for past mistakes if you will without extrapolating what's necessary and the divine order of that and use those things as tool and tools for us in the now and to move us into the future or else we'll just keep you know churning this through over and over and over again until certain things come to really stand in our way and really make us see really push us into places that typically are more uncomfortable because it's like rides over pal you you got to get off and see where you're at and there's no more of this this the the train ride's done like you gotta just you can't just whiz by everything it needs to come from a place of of real like stillness so that would be kind of the last thing here to to share with you capricorn um but i also feel like like you have done work to see this like to you're like coming into a new frame of reference a new place of being a new beingness within yourself but there's been i feel like there's been a piece of you that's been like still holding back and still anchored to things and and situations from the past or ideas that you had about people or relationships that you're like holding on to for one reason or another and so it's time for a rewind and then a fast forward um into the future because there is a lot left to happen for you to connect to and places for you to go and do but before that can happen in a really real way that it needs to you need to kind of take a step back um because while maybe a lot has changed and shifted and is better there's still like these shadowy spots that i'm seeing that are standing in the way of true progress for you and where you need to be so take that all into consideration and of course check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org to see what is there that you can um, manage and handle sooner than later any of my meditations are free my ebooks are free um my videos on youtube are free but if you want to work with me um directly check out my offerings i offer a lot of services um for you your pets and your and your children as well by the way but um other than that just it's like <sighs> see what has happened to kind of pull you from the window of truth i don't know how else to say that but it's like as you get close to that window and seeing everything it's like the the vastness of it the brightness of it or whatever kind of tends to make you go back and be like but i'm doing this right now i'll get back to that later and it's like no let's put that off the busy work and get back to this and if that means taking a week off taking two weeks off doing whatever you can to clear out space because this block out distractions is like a big one here that there's a lot of energetic and busy type distractions some of your own making some that are of other people or circumstances that need your attention and how to sift through it 
All right, that's it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope this reading offered you insight, validation, and advice to move forward. That is always my goal when I channel these messages. Please have a beautiful rest of May and beyond into 2021. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.